What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, Rob and Melanie are going to continue with Episode 7 of our Tainted Grail Fall of Avalon two-player playthrough series. If you haven't already watched, we've done six episodes up to this point, plus a prologue, a little playthrough, tutorial playthrough, and the unboxing. Go back and check all those out there in a playlist at Rob's Gaming on the Table on YouTube. There are spoilers here. Warning. I don't always warn you. I sometimes forget, but yes, it's obvious. There are spoilers here. Please, step away. Go play the game. If you haven't already, play through it, it's awesome. Experience some different stuff. Then come back and watch this in the future. Um, but anyways, thanks a lot to everyone who's following along with us. We appreciate it. Thanks for hitting that like button. Thanks for leaving comments below, letting us know about rules goof ups or just that you like that we're still playing and you're glad we're playing. So we're back here. This has been a couple nights since we played last. We're in the middle of chapter six, middle, early, late. We don't know. We just ran out of time one evening and stopped. So we're here again. Another evening, we're going to continue on with this. Thank you to our Patreon backers for supporting the channel. Everyone else who's donated on PayPal or donated to our fundraisers, any of that stuff. You can find links for that stuff in the description below. If you like what we do here, you want to support our work we do here on YouTube, uh, you can become a Patreon. The links are down below. Also, follow us on social media. We'll post there when we post new videos. And make sure you subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell so you don't miss when the next episode of this goes live. Thank you for being here. All right, let's get down to the table and let's get caught up on where we're at here. All right, so... We have three men years out. This is weird. I don't think this happens very often. The map is bigger than I think we've ever seen it. It has made me have to shuff my mat to the side, uh, adjust the camera so it can all fit. Um, but uh, we have a men here up here that's at one. So it's about to, about to go out in a couple days. Uh, we have one here that's on four and one on five. And we have this four dweller hot on our tail. We've been uh, running from, and eventually I'm sure he'll catch up to us again. He's caught us once, but... Uh, we're playing the running game. I don't know if we're missing stuff or running right past good, cool things. But the problem with this guy is, unless I'm understanding him wrong, is he catches you on a space. Let's say you stop and you want to explore and play the, the game in the, in the exploration journal, which is the best part of the game is exploring and doing the fun games in the exploration journal. But this guy says, I don't want to let you do that. I'm tired of you doing that. And he literally will fight you and he either will kill you or you run from him, which seems to be what he's trying to do to us right now. I don't think we're ready for this guy. He's making us run. And when you escape, you're forced into an adjacent uh, location. And if you try to move back in his location, you're dealing with an encounter again. And if you run again, adjacent location. So there's this annoying cat and mouse game where he will push you off the locations, is my understanding. And then you kind of have to play games of running around. And we were talking about it before. And we might have to split up at some point to chase him away from us. And when he leaves the map, he only leaves for like two rounds. So like... This guy is ruining our fun, and I'm sure that's what he was designed to do, but down with four dwellers. Hashtag four dwellers suck, all right? <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, he's pushing us forward, making us play a little different. Maybe he's only out for a chapter. Maybe he's gone. I don't know. We'll find out. But I did notice while I was setting this up and looking at it again, this is the four dweller mounds. And we've had this location before. I'm pretty sure it attaches to 102. But I never even noticed, I did not put that together because this disappeared a long time ago and then we got this guy. But I wonder if at the beginning of the game there was some way to go to this four dweller uh, mounds and, and interact with this guy somehow or something. Maybe there's something there that'll help us with this guy. I just noticed that when, when I was sitting here waiting to start this, uh, the, the video recording. But yeah, that's uh, it's an interesting little location. But I, I'm 99% sure we had that before. And I bet if you look at, it's got a men here. If you can look at the men here costs you've been writing down. Yes. I yeah, so on your first that. page, men here rights. Yep. We need men here rights. Oh, we need men here. Oh, because this is one of the first ones. Yeah. Yes, I, I remember this. So we may not have even lit it then. No, I, I doubt it because we didn't we didn't go west really, right? So I, th I think this was one that was on the west. Like, I feel like 102 is our main location, like Kunat where we started. Maybe it's 101. I can't remember, but it's close to 102. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because if this is where the lake is, you can see the kind of water from the lake. We were like just below the lake, I'm pretty sure, when we started. Maybe not. Maybe we're a bit lower. I don't even know. Well, let's check our map. Uh, no, maybe we're a little lower. Connaught's like Farshire's. looks like it's up a row above Connaught. So Farshire's here. And Connaught looks lower. So maybe it's like... Maybe this was like top left of our starting nine locations, but I feel like it was out there right off the bat, but I could be totally wrong and confusing it with another location, but obviously we've seen it because mm -hmm. you wrote down the um, men here costs. But it's cool that we're seeing locations again that we haven't seen in so long. Uh, yeah, so we're seeing this place again, which is neat. So we need to get the men here lit there, I believe. 
because it's the only one that we see that is going to get us 118, which, if you want to be caught up here, our quest, if you don't remember from last episode, we are uh, trying to ask Orin to guide you into Tuathane. He can be found in Weird Edge 141 to the west of 118, which is annoying. Devastation here to the left of Farshire does not go down, but you know Weird Edge is like right here below it. Because 118, if it's to the west, uh, I'm assuming it's there. 118 is just below Farshire here. And we know we've had a story before. I think you made notes where Farshire, we had to go talk to someone at Farshire about some other quest or task we were doing. Maybe that's all past and gone. We can't revisit that. But we're on Farshire, which is interesting. And I have a energy left. So I'm debating just exploring here. Maybe we can talk to some friend there or something. Maybe get some help. Maybe get some help with this guy. But I'm assuming this guy chases us for at least, like, he, he's, he was here last chapter, but we didn't really have to deal with him too much. But here he is in chapter 6, being a pain in the butt. And I know you can get him earlier, because when we're looking up rules on this guy, people had him in earlier situations, because it was that whole something is watching thing. So, I think if you just take too long early in the game, and you just try to play the, the game of uh, farming, uh, eventually this will, um, this guy will come out anyway. But, uh... The interesting note, I know we're getting low here. Uh, we have one more random event before we hit special B. So I don't know what B is, but A involved this guy. So yeah, hopefully it doesn't involve him and he gets to jump two spaces or we, he pulls us into his space or something. But anyways, all right. So let's continue where we were. We're in the middle of a day. Um, I knew we lit this man here. We were hunting some food up here. Uh, we moved south. So we're both on Farshire. You're sitting at two energy left, before one before going, no, none before going exhausted. I'm at three energy, one before going exhausted. I have three food, you're at four food. I feel like we could end the day. I remember we did a blue encounter here, uh, and then we kind of ended the episode. But I want to actually explore here, unless you think there's some other good reason we should move, or I should move, maybe up here to tease the four dweller to come there. I would run from him this way. Then next day we go here, try to do this, and then he would just go this way because the lower number would be 112 versus 116 to get us. Or, or, we wait here, I just explore, and then he will move down this way to the lowest number, which is annoying because he's where we want to do our, um, our men here. But we have some time. This one's at a five. So this is like the longest one out of all of them, I think. Like, obviously right now it is, but I feel like that one lit pretty good. So, I feel like we're not in that much of a rush right now. Um, but yeah, he's going to be hanging around. There's no way someone's going to leave this guy off before this man here goes. That's like way too many days, way too much energy. Yeah. You'll get way too far away, and then when we need to let him in here, everyone needs to be together. So, yes, I have the Shadow Soak, Soak Scroll, which totally, if we're in a bind, we can use. Spend one energy, move your character to any other revealed location. Gain two Terran, discard this item. So that is a way, if I did do that, or I gave this to you and you did that, we could totally lose him and jump back. The only problem is he only leaves the board for two days. So it's like, that doesn't seem like a valid strategy to me, unless we had like two men here going, and he was close to the edge, then somebody could like lead him off and go get other things done. But it's not like there's even any good locations up here to go get food at and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I'm good hanging down here. So what do you want to do? Do you want to... Uh, so we know the cost of this man here, because you already had it written down. We could. I don't think we have enough. But I don't think it's smart to move in there yet. No. So should I stay and explore? Or should maybe I use my last energy split up and draw him to us? Oh, but then I can't do the food thing. If we wait down here and I just explore, he moves down here. Then we go up maybe we get some food and kill a day. And then he moves back up to get us. And then we come down and sneak, sneak by him. Yeah, you can do it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, so we have time. Time's okay. Other than, other than this event tech uh hitting the next thing but usually it's it's kind of endless it just will throw some more random events but i feel like we've seen some pretty good ones so far good weather good weather heavy rain which our thing our um adventures kits blocked beautiful weather well we had a new threat but i believe this deck's like half good half bad so we've seen quite a few good so far so our luck will run out eventually and we'll get a whole bunch of more bad ones so it could be bad to delay longer but our quest is get to Orin, which we're still a bit away, and we need to light him in here, so it's the best way to do that. And I don't want to get tangled up with this guy. So, uh, I'll just explore. Are you good with that? Mm -hmm. 
All right, so uh, I spent an energy, and let's get to the book. Uh, 116. 116 Farshire. Finally, we made it. Let's see what Farshire is. Holy crap. It's a, it's, a, it's a big one. It's yeah. uh, like four full pages worth. That's when you know it's a juicy, juicy location that we'll have to deal with, I'm sure, more than this, this little, little stop we have here. Unless we bypass that stuff by not going there earlier in the game. Uh, we skip a lot of it. I don't know. I don't have anything written down for this location, so I don't think we've been here yet. Well, we obviously went there to check the men here yeah, probably at one point. Yeah, but that might have been it. I don't even know if we lit it. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe we saw the cost of it and thought, let's do this other one that costs something different. Maybe we didn't have, like... Um, we might not have had menu rights at that point. Not menu rights or maybe not food. Or maybe not food, yeah. Maybe it's I, I it's not very expensive, but... All right, well, anyways. Okay. If you have part three of the lost and fallen status... Part three of the lost and fallen... Uh, we have none. Okay. That you would go to verse 13. Otherwise, read on. Occupying a strip of land between the impassable walls of Tuathane and the sea, Farshire has always been an important trading hub and the most prosperous of farmholds. Believing that the All-Mother is responsible for all their blessings, Farshire inhabitants raised their, raised their town in the shadow of her sacred, sacred dolmen. As you approach the town, you notice armed patrols, doubled watches, and a long red war banner flapping over the long hall at the top of the town. All right. So our options are visit the long hall, go to verse 1, browse through the market, go to verse 3, ascend the dolmen, dolmen, however you say that, I don't know what that is, uh, go to verse 6, collapse the dolmen, Requires secret card 16 and part 3 of the War of Avalon, War for Avalon status. This will end your day. I don't think we're... We don't have either of those. Nope. Deliver a diplomatic message. Requires chapter 4B. I feel like we did 4A, so we didn't do 4B. Okay. And at least one part of the diplomatic mission... A diplomat status, sorry. Uh, go to verse 11 or leave. So I can't do the last two. So it's literally visit the long hall, browse through the market, or ascend the dolomite. Dolmen. I don't know what the dolmen is, but uh, I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments if we haven't figured it out by this point. I'm trying to look at the art here. Her sacred dolmen. I, I don't know. It's probably something religious. I don't know. But anyways, uh, all right. I'll just visit the long haul. Go to okay, verse one. Verse one. If you don't have part one of the enemies of Avalon status. Uh, enemies. Enemies of Avalon? Have we, have we turned bad? No, we have no parts of that. <laughs> okay. Uh, and you're playing chapters two or three, go to verse 17. Okay, so that was earlier stuff. We didn't do that. If you have part three of the allies of Avalon status. Uh, we have none of those. And you're playing chapters 10 or 11. Okay, we're not okay. doing that. If you have part two of the final confrontation status and you're playing chapter 12. No, we're not. Okay. All right. If you have part two of the final confrontation status and you're playing chapters 13 to 15, holy, holy crap. Holy. Yeah, so you could be stopping by here. We may be stopping by here in 10, 11, 12, 13 <laughs> to 15, somewhere in there. Yeah, Farshire. We're, we're going to be back, gonna Farshire. Back we'll, we'll be back. we got to okay. remember where this is. Uh, all right. Otherwise, Lady Kincad isn't taking any visitors. <laughs> Exploration ends. We're here at the wrong time. Yeah, we either had to come here early in 2 or 3 or 10 or later, it looks like. Okay, so sorry. I'm just going to make a small note of that. We want to come here at 10 or later. Yeah, Farshire, 10, chapter 10 plus. I, I don't know, 10 to 15, something. I don't know. It'll tell us, though, I'm sure, when we get final confrontations or allies of Avalon. I know, it, but just if we come back yeah. here, knowing not to choose that same uh, Yeah, so that, that yeah, again. don't, uh, yeah. Okay. So I don't need to visit the long haul anymore. That was a waste. All right, done. I'll just stop there. Farshire, wasting my time. I should have just went to the markets. <laughs> should have just went to the markets for shopping. All right. I'm good to rest. Are you good to rest? I'm good to rest. All right. Uh, we're ending our day. Let's eat some food. Eat some food. So terror goes down by one. Health, I'm already full. Uh, and I'll bounce up to six on my energy. As will I. Okay. Uh, so uh, advance your character by spending XP. You have five. I have three. Um... I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Probably tomorrow I will. So empathy will cost me 
two, four, six. If I get to six, I may be, buy some empathy. That might be helpful, but mm. I don't know. I feel like combat is where I should be spending it. Practicality, but that would cost. This counts as one, right? I believe. So it's like yeah. two, four, six, eight, ten. It would cost me for another practicality. Um, it's on this one. This one. Just it would be your tenth one. No. No. Uh, one, two, three, four. It'd be five? my fifth or further, right? Yeah. So it'd be the fifth, right? One, oh, yeah, two, yeah, yeah. three, four, and then yeah. it'd be five. So everything in this bottom row from now on cost me ten experience. Yep. Oh boy. But then again, there's caution we've seen a lot in the book. Courage we've seen in the book come up. Empathy. Practi practicality. Practicality. Too, no? Yeah, but that's why I'm worried about this. So I'm saying I can't worry about practicality. I kind of got to think oh. of courage. Caution helps us with like, you're slipping on some rocks a few times or you're on some bridge. Caution, yeah. right? And you have zero empathy. Maybe that's not I know. a bad thing just to get but one. But the problem is then that makes any, if I want to do an aggression ah. skill, that it makes it more expensive. Yeah. True. Whatever. I'm just thinking ahead. Well, I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Let's see what this yep. day brings. All right. So uh, we're in a location with a dream. Yes. So, well, not yes. I'm kind of scared. I flip a coin here and I'm reading Ooh. the nightmare. So back to 116 in the book. All right. So for the dream, the ground stirs while giants heap more and more earth into a hole. Fear and sweat mark their faces and they all mutter the same words as they work. Like a protective spell. It's not until they lay the great stones of a dolmen atop the site that the ground calms. Their arcane words are still rattling around your skull as you wake. Stones of a dolmen. So Each character who has this dream gains a magic. Oh, awesome. Well, let me just talk about this here. There's always hints. So I'm going to make some educated guesses here. It talked about one of the options of going to Farshire was tipping the dolmen or dismantling the dolmen or something. Mm -hmm. This is talking about them chanting like a protective spell. Mm -hmm. We recently read about something that punched this guy in the face and can take him down. Yes. How much you want to bet under some stones hidden is whatever the heck fights that guy and they're keeping it like under lock or they're keeping something of great power under there. And later you may want to come back here to knock that off to release whatever they're protecting and hiding. So you want to make the choice to send the, the doll. What was it? The dollum? Well, I can't because I don't think you could choose that. I, I couldn't choose that. Oh, because you couldn't that. choose that one? That I don't think one so. Of the ones? Yeah, no. That's for like War of the Avalon. War for Avalon. So I just picture, I'm just totally guessing. I could be way off base. But just trying to put things together as I read them and see how they connect. Because eventually the story will unfold, right? And you'll, yeah. But there's stuff hidden here that we're not going to come back and find out till later. But the dream is going to hint at it whether we're here earlier or later. Uh, mm. So the arcane words are still rattling around your skull as you wake. All right. Uh, nightmare. The words have failed. The ground cracks and the dolmen collapses like a landslide. The thing buried beneath bursts free, infecting the minds of the populace. They tear, or they tear at their eyes. Oh, sorry. They tear at their eyes while blood drips from their ears, turning on one another, biting and scratching. Those trapped beneath the enormous stones are not saved, but looted. Their fingers and ears bitten off to get at their jewelry. You wake, grasping for breath, unable to shake the screams and chaotic images from your mind. Okay, scratch that. I totally was wrong. I have no idea. <laughs> there's zombies down there. Yeah, there's zombies down there and they got lots of jewelry. All right. Each character who has this nightmare gains two terror. Oh, oh no. Great. That's always nightmares that give me terror. <laughs> I, picked the guy, I guess that makes sense. I picked the guy who goes insane at five. That's my problem. You don't go insane until six. It's my weakness. I need something that stops me from uh, tossing dials to risk dreaming or nightmares. Um... Okay. Sorry. No worries. No, no. Yeah. Make your notes. Make your notes. It's all good. Uh, okay. Uh, that was the nightmare. Start of the next day. So, did you have any end of day? No, it's I'm already. Okay. Uh, I will do my end start of day. I'll lose a terror. That's nice. And I will gain. Mm, okay. So if we, assuming we don't get good weather, uh, one to move up. Mm-hmm. 
two to fight or do the gather food thing. And then he would be down there. So we'd have to still stay up there. Yeah. So I could explore. But if I take an energy right now and I go plus one, I will have enough to do two of this gather food thingy. Oh. Right? That's good. And this is not a dream yet. Yeah? Yeah. Because if we're going to hang out up there, I want to do stuff. I know we can explore it. I'll do it one time as well because I'd like to stock up on some food for unless the future. Unless I just use it for exploring, then at least I have extra energy. Yeah. But I could also just keep it there, take a magic. Magic which... is helpful too because you can eat magic. Yeah, and... yes I can. <laughs> and we, need, uh, we don't need magic for this min here though. Yeah, but at some but point we will. in the future will. we will. So... Or you could use it in a, in a combat even. No, I'm worried about men ears right now. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, gathering. Yeah, so I could take this and just turn into one magic, or mm, I don't know. I like the idea of maybe doing something here too, because we never really explored there, I don't think. And we're gonna be there anyway. It might as well. Yeah. So you're saying yeah. take an extra energy, yeah. which could give you in the future two magic or two food, right? If you did it twice. Yeah, I could get more out of it with the turn. That's what I'm thinking of just stockpiling more food while we're up there because mm -hmm. we don't know how long it is till we see it again i don't want to get in this point where i'm just like getting a magic but i could just turn magic later okay now we know this man here doesn't cost magic right no just my magic for being cursed ah, okay, okay which i could pay no and i don't think i said it out loud but it's one energy one health two oh, wealth see it, one okay. food yeah but just for the yeah sorry listening. and that's per player and then i have one magic one energy one, one health. health yep so we have to take a damage yep Two wealth. Two wealth. Uh, oh, I have four wealth. You have two? Yep. Okay, perfect. And then one food. Oh, see? Yeah, Each. let's get some food. We're about to give some away to the men here. Yes. And then I have my curse, which makes me pay magic. However, I can pay energy instead of magic, which okay. I likely will do if I have it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it only costs one energy. That's sweet. And we'll have enough energy to come back down here after the next day, hopefully. Well, if I was full. Yeah, as long as you don't go, like, exhausted. But we still should. Yeah, say you're exhausted. You only have four. One, fight the blue encounter. Mm -hmm. Two, then you need... Two, one. Two, don't you need two? One for the magic, one for... Oh, yeah, but I have energy. magic, worst case. Oh, I see. I'm okay. saying, but if I have enough energy, I'd rather pay energy than... Yeah, the magic's more rare for you. Makes yeah. Sense. Okay, uh, so I take the extra energy. Okay. Um, and then let's remove expired menu here. There are none. Reduce all time dials and men here dials. I'll use this green die for this. Uh, yep, this one will go down to four. This one's going to three. All right, uh, then reveal the next event card. On natural chill, if you're out of a settlement when the, when the end of day starts, lose to health water freezes and grass covers the frost old people call it the four dwellers curse oh we are our adventurers uh, kids protect against yes that. nice so we can ignore that yep we both have ponchos on we're good that's sweet yeah we gotta not lose those, those yeah have been good i know so far. right what is this this is just a regular item okay yeah we could lose them we could but uh yeah the fact we got them is awesome okay uh so next is move guardians this is when we're gonna move the four dweller and uh, we saw some comments you guys said yeah that's when you'd probably move it but there's no official, I don't know when the Ford Weller moves, but we'll just move now. He's not a guardian, but we'll move now. Um, so he'll go to the lowest location. It's 111 or 106. Obviously, he'll go 106. Um, and then we pick active items and secret cards. I think I'm still one weapon, one armor, one relic, one shield. Mm -hmm. As am I, I'm good. We're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so next, start our day. Uh, so we don't get a free move, but I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go up here, spend an energy to do so. Then I'm going to spend one, two, and I will do the gather two food and bring on the green encounter. Whew. An alder tree. i got to fight trees now. No, I'm just kidding. So it's level three. It says some of its branches are dead and covered in snow. Some are green with fresh leaf buds, and some are in full bloom. What the heck is going on here? Mm -hmm. Each party member loses a terror, so good thing oh, that's good. I came alone. No, I'm just joking. And each party member gains a magic. Uh, we still should have traveled together, but doing okay, this together. How would we ever know? Yeah, I wouldn't do this with a green encounter anyway. Uh, I gain a magic, which is great. And for uh, oh, I gain one ma one magic 
for each point of spirituality and empathy. Oh. So I get two. But Still good. Yeah, so good to know there's bonus for empathy. So you would get two off that too if we ever saw it again. But it's in the uh, level three, guys. Wow, I so like it. Throw that on the bottom. I didn't get any bonus food though, but I'll take it. Getting a couple of magic is just as good for me. Okay, uh, are you okay if I do mine next? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I'll spend my energy and I will move. Okay, and you, you're going alone? You're yeah. okay with going alone? Yeah. Okay. Because I got my piglet. And then oh. I'll spend two for yeah, the two okay. food. Okay. And then I will, one, two. Remember and though your piglet last time got you two guardians in a row. That is true. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. So this is a level two. A vengeful druid. So let's see what this guy's got here. Uh, only seven, but he's an opportunist, which says if a player doesn't play at least two combat cards in step two, apply the opportunity attack. We gotta know okay. this by now. Yeah. Uh, a survivor of the druid massacres, fueled by hatred and thirst of revenge. So a little bit of damage there, uh, but do you have your armor on that you're losing energy? No. Nope. So you're only preventing one, but he's doing three at two of the steps there. Lots of red cube loss. So this guy's like, you got to kill him fast or it's going to be a bloodbath. And if you don't play two cards, you're losing, you're gaining a terror. And the loot is two magic. Mm, it's and he not starts, food, though. Yeah. And he starts off locking the key on the bottom, but at least there's a courage and practicality showing. So I'm wondering, let me just talk this out a little bit. I think you're, of... You're I, debating digging for something else? Yeah, for food. You're going to get like a 14 or 15 power thing. Yeah, that's fine. No, that's not. I know you want to dig for food, but I guess two, two magic, magic is still is good. good. Yeah, it's Okay, still good. we'll do it with the two magic. Only seven. But uh, you could take a couple damage a couple times. So you could easily be like four damage down in no time with this guy. But even I could run away. And but I there are like... ways. Cards you have that block damage. Cards you have where you can pick which one of these things happen. He never runs away, at least. <laughs> All right. So we just go heavy on him. Okay. And the fact he's only seven, you can get to the final blow territory real quick. There's lots of red cubes happening on these cards. <laughs> um, but you uh. are in the ability to escape without any terror. You're just losing energy. You do have some card draw. Oh, we have preventing the damage. So you could literally block all three damage. I could put this. What does he do at zero? Okay. I could play these two cards, which yeah, then would up. let me draw two additional cards next and turn. That, that lets you draw one on play, right? Yeah. So I think I'm going to I'm gonna play for now and see what happens. So, so that will card. let me draw a card. Oh, this could change what I do, I guess. Throw, which is kind of a finishing No, it doesn't card. even connect anything on there. Uh, so then I'm going to play this card, Connecting Practicality. Give it a time token. Yep, and that'll prevent two damage because it's defend, right? Yeah, yeah, so then I could use this to prevent first and then those, yep. right? so you don't take any do damage here at the start. Okay, so I will stop there. Okay. So I would discard down. Yep. And then I would draw two cards because of this. So yeah, one. Yeah, so he tries to hit you with three two. damage. You oh, totally yeah, block sorry. it. Sorry. You played two cards, so the opportunity thing doesn't fire off. Okay, so now this will be removed and I will draw one card. Yeah. And we'll see what's happening here. Okay, so. This defend is not terrible. That only will do. Oh, you got another defend? Man, that's so good. But. Or throw is what, sorry, what I was talking about. Um, or maybe I do these two cards. Oh, I don't need that first. Um. Uh, Sorry, oh, oh, you never did times. your poison dagger. That could be another way you could get some damage on him. Well, I could do it right now. True. Uh, flip this card in combat. Place three time tokens on the encounter. Unless you'd rather use it for the throw. Oh, the throw does two. Flip this over to gain two. Yeah, so it's like more two quicker, but the other one's more of a long play. Hmm. You want to kill him fast because you can't block his damage forever. Or he'll start making you lose red cubes and get you back into damage territory. Yeah, so true. Okay, I think... If I started with this, just looking at this, that would do three. Okay. Mm -hmm. And can you connect something to it? Because remember, you got to play two or you start gaining fear. Oh, right. And you also can only, you have to discard down to three. So you kind of want to play two anyway. Or 
I play this game again, where I play reposition, and then play defend again, doing the exact same thing, leaving myself with the times two, getting to draw yeah. technically well, no three cards. Fears, but yeah. yeah, but then they're all coming, yeah. right? Yeah. Then I could play this to start, which would do four. Oh. No, that's a kind of a finisher card. You don't really leave okay. that hanging. But I am going to do this, I think. So. Okay. So let's do that. Time token on it. Time token. Sorry, I'm making a mess here. Time token on that. Okay, so he tries, so I block one and yep. then prevent the other two that he's trying to do. I'm sorry, did you want to do this poison dagger thing or no on your turn? Mm. Or do you want to save it for the throw? I'll save it for the throw yeah. that I have here. I would too. Okay, so then I will discard down to three and I have three. I will draw one and then I will draw one for this card here. Still no red cubes. Where are they all? Then I will remove this time token and I will draw a card. Start of my turn. Holy oh, moly. How did you get so many cards? Because I had three. And then I drew one. Yeah. And then I drew one for this. Oh, okay. And then. Oh, I see. Draw yeah, you card. still had three in hand. Yeah, yes, I still yes, had yes. three in hand. I thought you had two. No, I was just hoping that I would draw some. Wow, okay. What's this one do again? Your new one? Mercy anything? Uh, the next card does not need to connect with a uh -huh. bonus. Okay, so That's cool. let's do... It's awesome to be able to play starter cards like after that. Yeah, but I don't have any good ones. That'll be good if I can get enough and then play that and finish it. But look, at no red cubes on this. Well, this could be red cubes if you let them hit you. <laughs> yeah. Ignore pain. Oh. <sighs> You could draw to a find weakness. Um, yeah, just it's tough because of the times three, and then I can't connect. Oh, I see. So I'd want to play something. You have nothing That's that annoying. connects after throw, right? No, because it's I don't have the double practicality. I mean, oh. I guess I could connect a magic. Well, you. But. What? You have double practicality, and you have. Oh, I something do. Something that connects on. I do. What are you talking Duh. about? Duh. Okay, I forgot I had but that. Then what does that do? You lose. Oh, it's more card draw. <laughs> yeah, but I think I might be able to. Okay, so let's put this down. Get something going here. Oh no, do I want to play that first, or do I want to play? Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, so you're dropping okay. down a throw. That's your starter card, That's right? That's starter card. So I'm going to get one, two, three. All right, got some cubes. Finally. Then I can immediately flip over a weapon or a shield. I will flip over my weapon. Oh, it does shields too? Yeah. I don't have any shields though. Oh, I have one. And I get hmm. two more, so that's five. At five, he will do three damage and lose one. Okay. Well, if you know you're going to take damage, you have a way of getting an ignore pain down after some, not like you have one that connects, but do you have, it, it will ignore pain connect off of this gather thoughts? Yeah. Yeah. So then, and you also draw some cards, but that would turn the hits he's going to, the two hits he'll do on you would actually turn him into him killing himself on his turn. Yeah, that's not true. But terrible. the problem is you take two hits. So That's fine. But you could draw right now. That's fine. So you put a time token, but that would force you to lose a cube and draw two cards on your next turn. No, I'll just play this. Which will let you draw two cards right now. Draw two cards right now. Oh, there's, there's final, final blow. Final blow and surprise attack. Oh, surprise hold attack. on, That's hold on. super good with that other card. Hold on, though. Do I have that card that lets me? Yeah, yes, you yes. You can just finish him. So I can do this. That connects there. And then my next card does not need to connect with a key. The bonus. Oh, it, it does, though, anyways. <laughs> And then final and blow, then and you blow them it. off the map. Yeah. All right. So then I didn't done. even take any damage. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so you get two magic. Thank you. There you go. All the red cubes are at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. That's what you're drawing. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Shuffle them up. Put this Sorry. down at the bottom of the deck. Yes. I need to shuffle that because that's crazy. All right. So I will... 
if you want to do it again, I'll explore that location because I have on only one that I want to spend. True. Okay. I'll do it. One, two. Gathering food. There's nothing limiting us for doing this, right? No, it doesn't say once per day at all. Yeah, but I don't know if that's a thing. I just get worried activating locations like always once, but. Yeah, but those are the, some of them say. Yeah, that's true. Once per day, right? And we've put the time tokens on them before. Hopefully, I just feel like this is a little like. Yeah, you're always. If you're paying. gonna spend the energy yeah, and you're then fight for the it. encounter. I guess yeah, you're paying for it. Okay, so I took two. We got a river nightmare. Oh, so if I use my pig, that's thirteen. A frog with eagle's wings and a snake's head at the end of its tail some are as large as a boar it's got ambush which would take me down to one card oh, that's annoying and that it's doing tough. multiple damage yeah so look at him peeking out of the yeah i know so yeah that's bad i think i'll just be running away from this guy i mean it gives an experience which is tasty but not worth it all right So worst case, yeah, I take, I take a terror and I lose some energy, which kind of sucks as I go exhausted, but do what you got to do. It's a lot of guardian. Yeah. Okay. Uh, three cards. I mean, you can see what you get, but yeah, that's tough. Yeah, so ambush is first character discards down to one card in hand, which I just need the retreats. I guess, yeah, mulligan for it maybe. Overhead smash. Nope. What's the opportunity? Sorry, gain a terror? Yeah, just yeah. gain a terror. It's not the worst. I'm at zero anyway. Nope. Okay. I'll mulligan. Steady enemy attack. Lose a red cube and rip up this card. Nope. Mulligan. There it is. Ooh. Boom. Nice. See ya. No terror. <laughs> uh, but I do lose an energy. So he was the bottom of the deck. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And then when you are ready, I will spend my last energy yeah, to explore go ahead. this location. What's location 111? Um, yeah. All right. 111. Underwall. The wall looms over this sparse forest like a thundercloud. Wherever you go, its disturbing surface keeps drawing your eyes with this texture of twisted bone. There are many openings in it. Could some lead all the way to the other side and the fabled riches of Tuathane? Ooh, is this another way in? <sighs> Fortunately, wild creatures don't seem to mind this imposing presence. Glades and groves are full of prey. Far in the distance, you can also see a group of travelers struggling to drag their bulky carts through the wilderness. Hmm. So you could explore the crevices of the wall. Go to verse 1. Approach the travelers. Go to verse 3. Or sit down and admire the wall. Verse 7. Or leave and exploration ends. Explore the crevices, approach the travelers, or sit down and admire the wall. I think I will approach the travelers. All right, verse three. You approach the group, a hardy bunch of mercenaries, one wagon, loaded heavily with wooden parts of something resembling a giant trebuchet, has broken an axle. Seeing you approach, they politely ask you to help fix it. Mm. So option one, help the mercenaries, requires one practicality. Okay, I have Pay that. three energy and go to verse nine. Oh, I can't afford that. I only have two. Damn. <laughs> or trade with the mercenaries. The long campaign dwindled their supplies, but they are laden with spoils of war. Go to verse 11. Or leave and exploration ends. And I don't have to pay anything to go to verse 11? Nope. Okay, I'll do that. Go to verse 11. You're trading with the mercenaries. Yep. Sounds good. Uh, okay. Okay. The group is happy to trade some of their loot in exchange for food. They show you their wares. Golden teeth. Some still bearing specks of dried blood. Oh. Women's braids. Oh still God. adorned with precious stones. Children's toys. And various sacred objects. Dark. Very dark. The previous owners certainly didn't give these willingly. Oh, no. You may trade one food for one wealth any number of times. Each party member who has more than one empathy or spirituality gains one terror per trade. Okay, but Which I don't... you have, so you could basically gain a terror, give away a food to gain a wealth. 
Is that my only option? Or exploration ends. Yeah, well, it's you may. Yeah, you don't have to trade may. any of it and just I know. End. I didn't know if I would have another choice. Uh, I don't want to give up my food. Okay. I, yeah. Even though you know we have to pay two wealth for that men here, you're I okay? Have, I have two wealth. You have wealth? Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not going to. All right. That. So these are dirty mercenaries. So maybe you can help them with their wagon tomorrow, but. Yeah. All right. I need energy to help them with the wagon. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Dang All right. It. Ending the day? Yep. All right. I'll eat a food. I'll eat a food. And heal, tear, already good. I'm already exhausted anyway. One, two, three, four. Hold on, you were what? Where were you? Uh, at one. So it's better to eat the food so that I get the extra energy. We sure. did this before. It's yeah, like yeah, one yeah. food for one energy, basically. But, uh, yeah. All right. Um, okay. Experience if we want. Modify your decks. Uh, I will. We're not dreaming. I will modify my deck. So really? I, yeah. Okay. I think, I think I like to do this. Okay. Reaping. Remove all charges from all sewing cards in the sequence. Gain two for every charge removed this way. Man, you need to get those sewing cards working out. We haven't even seen any, though. We did, I think, one time you saw one as like an option, oh. like very early, but we didn't understand what was happening with it. But now you're seeing all these ones that work with sew. Yeah, critical strike. Ooh. The like enemy the attacks using the first attack in their combat table. I like that it has double connects on or connects on. Bonus on practicality. Bonus on practicality. Draw a card if you connect magic. I don't want. And you have a bunch of times twos on the bottom, and you and have, have times, times three. three yeah. yeah, so, so that's not terrible. Oh, and then reaping again, exactly the same card. What? Yeah. All these duplicates? Yeah, five and six. On a misprint? Okay. <laughs> I don't know, they're different card numbers. Okay, well, I don't have the whole thing that goes with that, so I think I'm going to take Critical Strike. Yeah, but strike. maybe one day you could. Yeah, but until then, I don't like how these do that for me. Yeah, because this obviously is like after you have a few sewing cards, yeah. and, and there's those other cards that we saw that place charges on cards. Yeah. So So I'm going to yeah. take Critical Strike. That makes sense, sure. And I'll shuffle these back in. Here, just pass me your thing, and I'll shuffle them up for you. Thank you. While you're sleeping. Pass me this too. Okay. And then I will pay the two. I used to buy that. Okay. And it had the double practicality, double aggression, which are both that I have that can connect. So oh, nice. That's okay. pretty good. Yeah, no, that's all good. It makes sense. There you go. So it can go, it can add some more red cubes to my low red cube deck. True. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sorry. Did you want to do anything? Or not yet? Um, You're saving for something, right? You said. I think. Like I want to save maybe for an empathy if I can get to six. Or worst case, I save six and can get uh, an aggression uh, skill like mm -hmm, you. Because mm -hmm. having empathy seems to just gain you terror when you see bad things. So, all right. Okay. I'm good now. Uh, so let's go to start a date where I'll gain an energy off of my true grail. Yep. All right. Uh, reduce, oh, remove men here that are expired. That one. Yep. This, this is one. gone. Okay. Let's look a little more manageable. Yep. Uh, so while we're here, let's just push this like so. And then 132. And this goes to 112. Perfect. Yeah, just give us more Yeah, because we're going to yeah. hopefully light this one. True. Uh, okay. Um, so do we reduce the dials? No, Not right? yet. Yeah. This so. doesn't go... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, I know. No, it doesn't go west. So I need a three here now. And I'm setting this one to two. Time is running out. Oh. I think we're okay, one, we? though. Yeah. All right. Uh, reveal the next event card. Special B. Uh-oh. Time passes as Avalon slides deeper into chaos. This is a special event. Each character gains a terror. Okay. Put this card back on top of the event deck, then place seven, minus one per player random events on top of it. So five more. OK. 
Okay. So now we know the loop is just us gaining a tear over and over again. So, eh. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, move this move jerk. It, yeah. it goes this way. It was funny in the one comment that we got about him being called jerk face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that was awesome. You're like, jerk, move jerk face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the Ford dweller. We don't know his real name, so no, I'm gonna give him. We don't him care. What I'm giving him random names because he's a jerk. Yeah. His real name's Goro. I know it's Goro hiding under there. He's four arms. He's from Mortal Kombat for sure. <laughs> or what's the other one? Kentaro. Kentaro's the other big four guy, four arm guy. In the... Um. All That's right. Funny. Okay. Are we good to start? Pick active items. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, do you want to move together for the blue do encounter? Do you want to help? Do you want to help the guys with the wagon? Oh, but do I have enough energy to help the guys with the wagon? I have to use one to explore, and then one, two, three. It's a trebuchet. They might, you might fix it, and then they can put you in the back of it, one. and then shoot you over the wall. And then two. Oh, I can do it. I'm just kidding. It I might can, be the biggest mistake ever. I can do it if you can pay my energy here. It's only one energy. Sure. Right? Because let me just count this I out with you. I can also do it, too. I could spend one to explore, and then choose that option, which was one, two, three. Yep. And then one to move, and then one to move. And you go fully exhausted? Yeah. I don't know that's smart. And then you can get something good from fixing the wagon? I don't know. If we went together, we, we can would spend share three it. combined, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's do it together. But then we're both spending the energy right now to... Uh, yeah, we both spend one to explore? Yeah. Hmm... Which still does kind of the same thing. I'd still be at one if I spent two. We else could just be cheeky and do some more food gathering before we run away. And two. And yeah, maybe move. we don't help them. With, there's move. so many options there, right? It's like... I could do the food, which would put me to four. And then I could do two moves, and then I would have an energy. And I, I'm fine to be at one because my highest is only six anyways. So that's one, two, three, four. It's like one short. So if I did it, food, then move, then move. What do you? Yeah, we don't have enough to do the, oh, and then the men here. Again. Yeah, we do. And the men here? Yeah, because we don't have any free movement from anything. I say we just move down here and do the men here. Yeah. Let's just get it done. Let's yeah, we could games. go back there for food after we see what uh, maybe gets revealed. Okay. Maybe. So let's move together, though, so we can do this blue encounter together. Sure. I'm down. Okay. So one energy spent each. And I can use my piglet. Jury of peers. I like you to look at these because you have different things than I have. Ooh, stats man. than I have. Three levels. It's a level three. We have jury of peers. Sometimes an outsider is forced to arbitrate in difficult court cases. So you can analyze evidence. That's the first step where caution makes it go up on the variable power. We lose energy every time it goes to them. And look, it, this is That's the highest huge... I've ever seen. Three phases. Uh, and then pass your judgment. So that would knock it down. But we have a couple ways of making it go up. Okay. Calm both sides. Goes down twice and we take a damage. You want me to but, use... but it also we also make it go up. But that's only with empathy, which I don't even have. So should I use my pig? Reward two rep, two experience, and if we fail, we lose all rep. Should I use my pig? I think so. I think so too. That's yeah, terrible. Yeah, that is pretty high. Okay, I'm gonna use my lucky piglet. After drawing a random encounter, you may put this on the bottom of the deck and draw a new one once per day. Oh, that's once per day. Yeah, yeah. That's why you put the little time token on it. All right. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> Whoa. Well, I kind of wanted to fight something to get some, <laughs> some stuff, but calm before the storm. Nothing happens. Place this card at the bottom of the blue encounter deck. Well, Piggy's doing his work. Yep. Okay. All right. So then. Uh, move again. Yep. And men Light. here time. Let's just double check. Men here cost. Yep. Acquires all characters. The men here write secret card. Pay one energy. One energy. Okay. Uh, one health. So you take a damage, kind okay. of. Two wealth. And one food. 
One food, and then I need to pay a yeah, you need magic, a magic but curse. I'm going to pay the magic so yeah. that I have the energy in yep, case yep. I want to move. Totally makes sense. All right. Uh, so, surprise, he just left, but he's back. Oh, here oh, I have a, and, I have... uh, Sorry, how many? Uh, nine minus one per player, so it's actually going to seven. Seven, That's yes. That's high one. Okay, I have it here. Uh, it's on seven. Oh, it was, sorry. Seven. Yes. Ooh. Okay. All so right. we're wording when we like these. So uh, <laughs> we're going to get 102. That uh, was good too because that you one. You can just shove yourself oh, yeah, just yeah. a tad over. You don't this really doesn't need to, need to be yeah, on it doesn't camera, need to right? Really, but, so then I can. Um, um, yeah, that was good because we just lost that other men here. So we wouldn't have been able to light that any. No, no, you take it off another location of your choice. Oh. We, you could. I even thought about this staring at this jerk face. Jimmy jerk face right here. Uh, I debated uh, some scenarios where we could lead him off and then when this happens, but the problem is you have to like run away from him, get together, light a men here, which I don't know if that math all works out, but we could pull a men here off of a location which makes everything just kind of, so we, guardians too, this would work better on guardians I think, mm -hmm. where we could purposely just be like, uh, yeah, I'll take it off that one, like have three going. You have to have three men here at the same time, which is already like a rarity, but. yeah. Um, you get to choose where it comes off of. So we could have put, like if he was still here, we could purposely pull this one away and, uh, oh, he still would be there from that one. Never mind. Never mind. Those ones are too close. They're all too close here. Yeah. This is crazy. Uh, 102. So 102 you're looking for. Hunter's Grove. That sounds familiar. I don't feel like we've ever really done much there. Oh, and it's, yeah, we have. It's a food Ooh. one. Ooh. Okay, perfect. So I was worried about hanging out here and hunting for more food. There's food right there. But we were trying to go this way. <laughs> 101. But, but not. We're almost home. But can this connect that way? I don't remember. I almost want to just go there and check. Yeah, but, oh, then, but this then, then this guy, this guy comes, comes down. Comes in the center. Ugh, this game. But I don't know if it does. Because remember, we were. Look at, look at, the rock starts to split. So I have know. a feeling Kunat was here. That, that place, the, the arena where you could fight with your guys, you go there, you fight, um, the fighting pits or something it was called, something like that. So you think you can't get through there? Maybe not. I say we just play it safe and go here. We can see though, when we go here, and if we get down here, it will. It, it might connect us. If it doesn't, then we, we know. Well, I guess one person can go there. I'm not going back to Kunat, but I do want to get food, but then this guy's coming <sighs> down, so we don't have enough No, but I have enough, I have enough to move one more, and whichever way would light some yeah. more. We could split up. Okay, all. But then this guy's between us, which you can just go into space and he knocks you. If they connect up. down here, yeah, then, then we're, we're okay, right? Because if I move to here, well, we are trying to go to Weird Edge. Right. If I moved here, though, this would light here, and we'll be able to see. Mm hmm Yeah, whatever you want. to Okay, do. let me do that, and then sure. you, you can. Okay, so I will move. Hey, yes. Rev. Uh, One eighteen. Now, also, if I stay here, this gives me a magic. Because that's oh, a dream. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. You don't go there, though, because I... Well, a 50-50 there. Oh, yeah, I guess. Um, 118, sorry. 118. Stampede. So, yeah, it's just called Stampede, not oh, okay. west of the Stampede, okay. like we thought, with the capital. Help. So, uh, oh, yeah, let's... We haven't seen this one yet. Yes. Uh, you guys know the Hunter's Grove. I didn't show it. I should have, but maybe you've forgotten like we have. Uh, in ages past, only the druids were allowed into the grove for good reason. That is now forgotten. Ooh, a dead skull <laughs> on the ground. We can dream there also. I don't remember what that's all about. Uh, let's just throw that down here-ish. Mm -hmm. All right, so stampede. We got crop circles. That is cool. So another men here, right in the middle there. That's awesome. 19. Dreaming also. Uh, you can help refugees here by spending energy to pay a food and gain a rep. And sacred plains are replete replete with refugees from the west so people are running from the west and they're hanging out here that's cool that is cool so we obviously need to light this men here to then get to weird like look at this men here whoops oh. three three it was yeah because it's one more than that one <laughs> whoopsie uh but yeah we need to this like this little dance of men here is here boop 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 yeah, because they're all it's like testing you to see like if you grab enough food, you have enough energy and stuff, and like this guy on your tail, man. Like if he caught you and beat you down, that would be bad news. Yep. 
Well, what side do you want to be on? This connects here. Oh, now we know what connects for sure. Kunat, so I'm Kunat's sure. there for sure. Yeah. It connects to that fighting pits thing there. Yeah. and then, That's crazy. We were so close to going here before. So you could go here because then that will light this and then you'd be able to sneak that way. That will light this. When you stand here, that will light down here. Yeah, that puts some Kunat there. Um, yeah, and not till we're here will that light that. Well, then it's like I'm going the long way around. It depends on if you want the food. But if you don't care for the food, then yeah. calm down and we'll see how much this... I'll see how much uh, this is next that's turn. That's true. Yeah. Hopefully not wealth. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'll go over the other way. Let's split up. Okay. So now you get 101. 101. Where is 101? It's covered in dust in here somewhere. It's been <laughs> so long. <laughs> Kunat Farmhold. Hey, good old home. How you been? If you guys don't remember, getting all nostalgic over here. It's a, oh, what, what is that? A settlement that's green? What does that mean? Oh, I've totally good. forgotten. I haven't seen those in so long. Everything is red always because this game is full of mean people. <laughs> uh, so it's a dream place. And the dream at this one, I think, was the whole, like, trying to get us to go after the men here, right? It's giving us, like, all those different clues. Mm -hmm. uh, you could do chores for the townsfolk where you just spend energy to gain a rep. I feel like a lot of rep opportunities have been coming up. I don't know if that's just because some things make you pay rep to get things, but I have a feeling like when we tried to get in Camelot and you needed like a thousand rep mm. to get in the, in the Camelot at all, I have a feeling at some point it's going to test us and say like, do you have the rep, bro, or you can't get in? And hopefully we've been storing Seven enough. Seven I have. I'm sitting at, oh, I should be at 10. Now let me just get rid of these to get us some red cubes back. But yeah, I'm sitting at 10, which I'm sure is high. But I know you can lose all your rep in certain battles and blue encounters and stuff. Mm -hmm. Certain rep helps you in certain things. It says it says in the book, like, having more rep, people will help you more often. Yep. So I think it's, like, when you're kind of taking the good path. But I just see things like this to gain rep. And it's like, should we be doing that at least a couple more times? Or is it for if we really lost all the rep and we're screwed? Is that just a way to, you know, you lost in a, a battle, they took all your rep. Is that just a way to get back the rep you need? I don't know. I, don't I just know. I just kind of pay attention to all these things the game's throwing at you. And it's like you can't ignore all of it, um, and because it'll test you later on like how you how you chose to, to make your decisions. Uh, okay, so homeland's back. Kunat farmhold. So we do know this min here, which is two energy, two wealth, two health, two magic. So super expensive. Is super what you're expensive. So no food, but yeah, yeah. I don't need to go that way. We're, we're lighting this one here, which we don't know. We don't what it know costs. that one yet. Hopefully, it's another cheaper one. Like these last couple have been pretty cheap. Yeah, hopefully, no wealth. Uh, Everything else we I'm ending my day. Are you ending your yeah, day? Yeah, I am. All right, food time. Food time. That food goes fast. No kidding. That's why I keep saying, like, I want to store up on it. Uh, so health, terror, full energy. Um, and XP, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'm good. And dreams. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, want to read mine again or do you care? Yeah, I just want to just double check, make sure. I'm sure it's the only one we really dealt with today. And it yeah. was you gaining a magic. Yeah, you gain a magic. That's fine. Okay. Uh, and the Hunter's Grove. Yep, 102. I feel like we've done this before. All right, Ooh. I get a dream. Sweet. Nice. 102. Real early in the book. This feels cool, like kind of backtracking. I like this. I guess this is where good notes come in. Yeah, our notes need work for sure. I've seen some good people online uh, in some new player. Uh, go into Board Game Geek if you're new to this game. There's some threads people have been posting lately uh, in the forums about tips for beginners. Some people have gone in there and went, like, I'm having trouble in um, Scenario 1. I've played it over and over again. I keep can't pass it. And I, I think it's because they're playing yes. solo, like, one character. And with Bior, I see him as I seen that a couple oh. times at least, where he just people struggle with this guy. I don't know why. I'm not sure what's I happening. I think it's because when he gets exhausted, doesn't he take a health? Yeah, or maybe, a health maybe it's or just like yeah, and his balance yeah. is just off. Or people are thinking because he's a fighter, you got need to go in every encounter and just fight and kill. But really, you should still run sometimes and kind of outweigh your your. And it's a good good tip I've seen is like make sure you look at the. Um, it's not this game is not. Um, Zombicide, where you're running around like kill everything. It's right. like so even a, even a zombicide, you have to run away sometimes. In this, I think you have to decide whether you want to stay or go, and look at the opportunity, look at the rewards, look at the loot, and decide is this worth taking a few health, some terror, whatever is the risk there. You know your deck, you know what it can do. Mm -hmm. um, 
but uh, where was I going? Um, notes. The notes, yes. Somebody left in one of those tips I saw was like leaving good notes of like putting location number and then putting like dash explored or location number dash here's need to come back to do this or they're looking for this. And it's like, we don't do it that detailed because we're trying to like play through on a video. We don't yeah. want to sit there editing out every time you're like writing a paragraph in the book. And how often are we going to go back and read those paragraphs if you're writing that detailed notes? Yeah. I... And we also have video. Like I, I obviously when we take a break, I went back and watched like the last episode to kind of get back into it to know where we are. That's kind of cool. I can always go back and watch a video. But I'm not going to go back and watch all of our episodes. Or, hmm, now we've seen Kunan again. Let's go back and watch episode one and two to kind of remember what happens over here. Mm -hmm. um, maybe. But yeah, I yeah. think... I think Notes help. Uh, what I'm trying to get at is notes. Yeah, take good notes. Uh, definitely can make a difference for sure. Yeah, if you saw my notes, there's a lot of scribble. Yeah, but hey, whatever. <laughs> all right. But I understand it. Uh, okay, so I'm doing the dream, but it's a dream and a nightmare. Oh, <laughs> so of course it, didn't, it is. So it didn't matter on the flip. <laughs> Piece of crap. All right. That's hilarious. If you have part two of the morning song... Status. Uh, morning song. Uh, we do not. Okay. Uh, your sleep is dreamless tonight. Otherwise, read on. You drift off under the ochre, okra painted consolation into a restless sleep where you chase a young dove in the hills just outside of Connaught. Hills outside of Connaught. Uh, you wake early in the morning in a cold sweat with several fresh cuts. A taste of blood fills your mouth. Beside you, raw pieces of meat lay carefully wrapped in leaves. If you don't have the hunter's mark status, uh, we do not. Each character in this, lo oh, we must have never rested here. Um, if you don't have the hunter's mark status, each character in this location gains two food. That's you. <laughs> I wish I went with you. See, I wanted to go that way. <laughs> then gain the hunter's mark status. Okay. So it's, like, so it's only a one-time so thing. So this is like an early game location to kind of just give you some free food. Well. Obviously, we didn't get that free food early in the game. That's okay, because we can trade the food later. So you, you store it up over there. <laughs> well, you can generate it by energy, but anyways. Depends. As long as we stay close, we can always trade stuff, which is fine. But I, I just get the fear of us being separate. We didn't move him. Whoops. Yeah. He should be right here. Yep. One eleven. Wait, are we on the next day? Oh, we're still in Dreaming. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, when you stop. start reading from the book, I get stop, all stop, thrown stop. off. Yeah, you've thrown me off a few times trying to get me to jump phases and stuff. <laughs> sorry. We'll keep this under control here, guys. <laughs> sorry. All right. Uh, that was that. Starting the next day. Remove expired men here. Now let's put some dials down. So this one's going to two. This one's going to one. This one's going to six. Oh, yeah, I put this on the wrong one. <laughs> I was like, why is that so close? Okay. Uh, now, um, next event card. Wandering Beast. Oh, no. Draw cards from the green encounter deck till you find one with a guardian keyword. Guardian. What the heck? A selkie? It's like some fish-looking monster thing with a, a lady coming out of his, his mouth. Oh, it's like uh, attached to his tongue. The sharp tooth maidens of the sea hide their true forms under molted sea skins. Awesome. What the heck? 13, level 3. It's a guardian ambush. Okay. Hate ambush Lots so of much. Terror. Yeah. Terror all over the place. Damage, losing some cubes, opportunity, gaining a terror. Rewards only 1 XP, loot some magic. Okay. Not the worst, but still. So, put this encounter in the lowest numbered revealed location. 101 it is. Nice. Good thing I moved over there. Well, at least you can go, yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeps, uh, oh, oh, yeah. We'll but see. then you'll be stuck fighting one of them to get through. Yeah, that's true. Unless you stay there. But I... Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> uh, if there's no Guardian encounter in your green deck, ignore this card. Did you shuffle all the green? No, it was right on the top. I didn't look at any other ones. Okay. Do you want me to still shuffle it? Does it say shuffle? Put this in, yeah. It says, I think because it assumes that you're going to look through it. Yeah, yeah. I would, I didn't, I would shuffle. But shuffle it up. I will. Which sucks because we've put some dirty guys on the bottom, I know. But uh, Yeah, but let's bring some of those. There was some easy stuff, some too. Some nice stuff yeah, to the, the top. Tree. Let's get the tree back. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, There's right. not that many. So no free move or anything. And you hear rumors about a terrifying beast okay. roaming the land. Okay. That's no beast. That That's sucks for you. Yep. That's what happens when we split up, though. All right. Oh, we get to move guardians. Maybe he'll move into my space. Maybe he'll get discarded. He'll 
They'll move into my space no matter what the die rolls, unless it's a X. blank or an X. Okay. And well, he's moving north gonna, anyway, so. So this happens right now? Yep. And this guy will come down here. Okay. If you. Let's dance, buddy. <laughs> let's dance, lady. I might just run, though. It's just games of terror. That's not terrible. Yeah, let's see. Can I get my do not hurt me business? But because we are headed Where? To, because we're headed towards lower number locations, these guardians are more annoying because they start oh. down here with us. Rather than the way we played the first half of the game, you're running up. Yeah. So they're always way below you and behind you, but they're never coming up here now where all this stuff is going to start disappearing. So Yeah, and I was going to say, "Oh, if we just don't go to this, it can't get connected, but I guess it'll just come this way anyways." Because once we go here it to could move back here. No, but it doesn't matter. Once oh, we, this guy? Either one, but once we go here, it's going to reveal this one, so it doesn't matter what I was saying. But we need to get this. So our goal of this chapter is to is to get here, right? To talk to Orin or something west of the stampede. What's here? 103? Yeah. Oh, man. What? Here's the problem. Once that gets revealed... No, they can't come down. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have okay. to go around. Ah, okay. So we just have to outrun them. So he'll come my way, actually, because it's the lower number path. So I can lead him this way mm -hmm. if I... If we both go down to here. Yeah, which we will. Okay. Yeah. But we just don't know how much this is going to cost, and hopefully we can light this right away. Because the, the, yeah. the whole chapter thing said to go here, right? West of Orin? I mean, west, west of Stampede. West of to the Weird Edge, yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. So that's... Talking to Orin and Weird Edge. Okay. Okay. So I got Careful Attack, Attack, and Overhead Smash. Hmm. 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 Nope. I can do some good damage right off the start, kind of. No, I can't. He doesn't do any. Oh, he has an Blocks X. all the first card, and I can't connect on any of that stuff. I mean, he's ambushed, so you only get one card. Oh, okay. For, yeah, if that helps you. Mm, I'm losing attack and careful attack if I do. Overhead smash doesn't do anything. i got to look at the, the abilities. So I don't want him to add more attack. Lose one red less, prevent one damage. No, I got a mulligan. I'm running away. Mm -hmm. Mulligan. Defend. I could prevent the two damage, but then I still gain terror. Mulligan. Hold guard. You choose the enemy attack except for run away. No, I'll just escape. I gain a terror. Oh, and I gotta spend energy. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that. Get in terror. I may have forgot that before. But uh, okay. Uh, and then he, we're gonna use a pawn for him. He's oh yes. Uh, so we can put it. Um, for now we can put it. Yeah, put it up here. Yeah, put him here. And we'll just do the blue and the blue. Blue pawn, blue cube. To remind us, it's this guardian moving around. Just gets it cleaner, so we can still see the locations. Okay. Um, and it doesn't look so scary when this thing's just chasing yes. around the board. <laughs> but hopefully I don't forget there's a guardian there. Uh, okay. Okay. And now we move this guy. No, I did already. Oh, you did. But yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, items and secret cards. Okay, start a day. So I'm already short on energy. Okay. So all I really want to do is, I think, gather food, and mm -hmm. then I'm going to move south. Yep, that sounds good. You go ahead. All right. Gather food. One, two. Uh, two food. Okay. Let's see what you get. Uh, let's change up five of that. Green encounter. Oh, a nice little six. I remember this guy's kind of hard oh. to hit. Ambush, defensive, and faint. So defensive means the first thing, uh, first card I play, one less red cube. Faint. Uh, like you can't prevent damage or something? Yeah. yeah. Can't, can't prevent pre damage in any way, but anyway. he only does one. And you only get one card. And to escape, I would have to lose two full energy to get away from this guy, but two food. Two food. I think I'm going to try. I think you could do it. Take a few hits. That's fine. Uh, so let's do this. So ambush means I got to discard down. Got to remember too, when I lose health, mm -hmm. I give him a red cube with my hunting spear. I, I, I know I've forgotten that in the past for sure. I'm pretty sure. Whenever you lose a health, you give him a red cube. Okay. Yep. One time or all the time? Every time. Whenever okay. I lose health due to an enemy attack, gain a cube. So if he hits me for like two or three... 
No, maybe it's just once each time. Okay. I don't know. Whenever you lose, and it's just the health symbol, is that like one health, any one or more health? I don't know. I would say by reading that, I would say whenever you lose a health, because it's not saying. How is, here, let me just look, I'll shuffle. The one that uh, you hold the sword. Um, Defend? No. Oh, I don't have it. Maybe only oh, you have pain? it. Oh, pain? Something pain? Yeah, ignore pain, ignore pain. I have it. I don't have that one. Yeah, that Ignore one. pain. Gain, oh, for every point of. Yeah, see, that's different, though. Yeah, maybe they're just using different... Yeah, whenever I lose... Yeah, whenever you lose health due gain to an enemy cube. attack, gain a red cube. Yeah, maybe it's just in general. So one per, no matter if he hits me for two, three, one, it's always one red cube, I think. Okay. I'm sure someone in the comments will let you know if yeah, and only if is they that, have it. Only is that it. good. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, how so. much health are you usually losing? Well, sometimes like three, yeah. Uh, okay, so I have to discard down. Oh, I could escape without any extra energy loss. It's up to you if you but want to the food. Then I need to still move. Yeah, let me think. What should I keep here? I got Battle Cry, Hex, and Reposition. I'm sorry, what's his starting things? Or? Okay. Red X, practicality and aggression, all single. Hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, I could just start with Hex, which just draws me a card. Which is good. Yeah. When you have to discard down. All right. Uh, so I discard down. I draw a card. I uh, gain one red cube for each connected one when fighting a purple. doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Yeah, it sucks that I cannot prevent damage. Uh, all right. So I got find weakness. I can put this down. Nope. I have to spend a magic to do it. Or I might just stop then. Okay, uh, so he hits me for one, unpreventable. And then you get to put a damage on him, or a cube, Yes, sorry. thank you. Boop. Uh, I draw, discard down, draw one, tangle trap. Instead of the enemy attack, lose a red cube and discard the last card. Okay. Um, find weakness. Draw two cards. Yeah. I mean, that's going to help you because you just yeah, discarded true. down. All right, let's do Entangled Trap. Uh, draw two. One, two. So I can hold guard. Um, no, I have to spend a magic to hold guard. Spend a magic for fine weakness also. Um, so I will stop there. Uh, instead of the enemy attack, I lose a red cube, and he tears this one. Now, if you want that card there, you can use your helmet oh, or something. Oh, prevent the tear. But, if but you... it's got a red X, and I can get back to it okay. times two. Okay, yeah, that's probably better. Uh, which I do have attack, so yeah, let's just okay. toss and tangle trap. Did what it needs to do. Okay, my turn. Did you draw? Uh, did I? No. I don't think so. No. Oh, because I drew off that. Yeah. Yeah. So sorry. Discard down. Draw one. Careful attack. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Magic. All right. Well. Yeah. Sucks that he blocks the whole defensive thing, but. I'll start with attack, uh, which will would normally do two, but we'll only do one because he blocks one of my first card played. Mm -hmm. uh, I put a time token down, which could lead to me drawing a card, but I think I will. Yeah, I'll connect with a magic. That one, I'll hold guard. This would uh, let me choose the enemy attack except run away and then I tear this up after, but I will connect careful attack 
and do three red cubes to him. And that makes me lose one less red cube, so he wouldn't make me lose any red cubes, but I'll still take a damage, which throws one on him, puts him one away. So I'll stop there. Uh, on his attack, lose one less red cube, and I can't, I would prevent the damage normally, but he's a jerk. So uh, <laughs> let's prevent, uh, not prevent the one. So I take a hit, but because of my hunting spear, I'll do a damage back. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I discard down, draw up, war magic. There you go. Wouldn't that win? Uh, I think so. But you only need to do oh, sucks. Two, I gain five, a terror. Six, seven. Two, three, five. Oh yeah, yeah, just one. Oh, I see. But whatever. Well, you also could play. I know. I'll draw cards, but then oh, this doesn't. I don't want to spend magic yeah. to connect. I mean, I'll draw two cards. I, but I, then, can you connect anything? On I double? know that's the thing. I need the free key, and then it won't do red cubes. Yeah. yeah. Let's just. So first card, I slam them for two. One. Uh, Which is all you need. Would have been three, but I'll oh, only yeah. do two. Sorry. More than enough. I gain a terror and then a time token, but it doesn't matter. End my turn, and he's dead, and I get two more food. Nice. You're loaded in food. Yeah, I'll need something to eat to get my health back, so it's all good. I'm eating anyway, so this guy goes to the bottom. Okay. So there's still weenies out there to kill that are pretty easy, which is good. For food, they exist. They're not all guardians in that green deck. Uh, okay. Um. Uh, so I have one energy. I was just gonna move south. Sure. And whoosh, see ya. And now you will re reveal one o three. Uh yes. One o three. Warrior fair. That's what I was thinking about the fighting pits. Yeah, four energy. Or to combat trial. Yeah, when do you have four energies just lying around you want to do that? Uh, you lose an, a health and gain an experience once per day. I mean, it gets you experience. If you're hurting for combat cards, that's the way to get it. Uh, with everything that has happened on the island, skilled warriors have become a currency of their own. And it is not a dream, not a men here, not a settlement. Well, we could explore there. Could be things going on at the warrior fair. All right, what are you doing with your, your day here? I am going to use one energy, and I'm going to move here. Oh, actually, now I have extra energy. Maybe I could now help with the wagon. The wagon's up above. Oh. Yeah, we, we, we left we passed that. Past the wagon. Yeah, that was, that was way, oh. that was up here. <laughs> I'm still a day behind. Okay, yeah. so one energy. That's why I was trying to make the decision back then of choosing it before we had to take off. Yeah. Yeah, now you don't have enough to go there, do it, and come back two spaces nope. to get by this guy. That's Although, fine. he would go this way anyway, because I'd be closest uh, by lower number locations. Nope, that's fine. Um, I would like to spend energy to... Well, first, actually, let's look at the men here for free before I do anything. Yep, uh, so it is... I'll write it down. This is at 118. Yep. Requires all characters, and the men I write secret card. Mm -hmm. In secret card seven. Oh, my Oh, God. I do. True Grail. Okay. We have it. Okay, good. Oh, man. I was like, man. what the heck? Secret card seven, though, that's different than secret card eight. Of course. So Seven is different than eight, honey. I know. But I'm saying if you came here earlier when you only had the true grail, you wouldn't be able to like ah, this th one. Yeah, we, that, that stops you from getting further yeah, in the story. Yeah, I see, Sorry, I see. that's why I was meaning it's different than All eight. right. So either way, we have the true grail. <laughs> yeah. It's not, not a secret card we need that up here somewhere that we ran away from. Okay. Uh, that drive instantly what entered my head when I saw a secret card was needed. I was like, God <laughs> damn it, what did we run away from? All right. Pay two energy, okay. two food, and one wealth per player. So no magic other than your stupid thing. Wealth was a problem. Oh, one wealth per player. You have some extra wealth over there. Yeah, but that's why there were places. Yeah, I was thinking about going here. Oh, lose two health gain. So two energy, two health to gain three wealth. Except I wouldn't be able to... I know. Yeah, but maybe now that we need that, I can... What else did it say? Um, put a new men here, model in this location, set its dial to five for one or two players. Oh, but we need four that. for three, three for four. But you have enough technically, right? Yep. You'll share your wealth? Yep. Thanks. So I would like to explore this location for an energy. You want to explore? Yes, please. Not help the refugees pay a food and gain a rep? No. All right, just checking. 
All right, 118. Like to explore. Uh, Stampede. The largest planes on the island have a long, as long served as a way to honor the gods. It was Merlin himself, one of the legendary arch druids who helped people dig the sprawling web of ditches, packed with chalk white limestones, creating holy signs visible from only from above. That's our uh, these these are are chiseled in rock, I guess, or whatever. Hmm. That's underneath the grass, I guess. I don't know. Okay. The plains used to be a holy place, but now reverberate with the sounds of frightened animals and lamenting people. Survivors from the western edge of Avalon flee across the plains, heading to Farshire, Gunnot, or Camelot. Option one, approach the refugees. Go to verse four. Option two, search the plane. Go to verse six or leave. Uh, I approached last time and that sucked. So let's search this time. Search the plane. Verse six. If you have part four and don't have part five of the consul, consul? C O N S U I L. We don't have it. If you have part four and don't have part five, no. Nope. Neither. None. So that would take you to the Book of Secrets. Otherwise, read on. You wander between the chalk white lines of sacred symbols lost like an ant on a giant tapestry. After a while, you'll feel revived as if some strange power seeps from under the ground invigorated. You walk on until you discover a small mound that instantly draws your attention, breaking the perfect line of the horizon. You approach the mound, a fresh grave. Strips of fabric flap on a wood symbol of the All-Mother, and a broken sword lies half-buried in the dirt. The grave is crude, as if dug in a hurry. Tracks lead northeast from here. Northeast. Yeah, back to where Four Dweller Mounds is, where this jerk hangs out on his evenings and weekends. Uh, new task. Follow the te tracks to find out what happened to the rest of the group. Was that the task before? Follow northeast tracks. Write it down. Okay. Right. No taker. Right. Is that the end? No. Okay. Each party member with two or less magic. Oh, I have three. Gains one magic. Aww. <laughs> so they're trying to give you magic because you feel you need it for something soon. If you have part one of the fate of the expedition status. We do. Or part one of the dreams and prophecy status. Uh, we do. We have both. Or if you're playing Bior, or he's in your party, okay. go to verse 8. Otherwise, expert hands. Well, we're going to verse 8 because we, we have are. a bunch of those things. Sweet. You immediately recognize the family crest of Lord Yevain on the fabric and sword's palm, the pommel. You feel a sudden sting of dread. So his quest ended here on sacred plains, far from any landmark. So Yevain is the guy who wrote to Bior. Bior. I'm pretty sure that's the one I read in the tutorial, right? Yeah. Lord, Lord Yvain? No, oh, that's you. Magus. That's my guy. I was going to say, it sounds familiar, but... So why does it ask him... Oh, we're, well, I see Magus' name in a couple couple oh, lines no. here. Yeah, I was like, Yvain, that, that sounds very familiar. It's because it's the one I read in the playthrough. I assume Bior because it said if you if you have Bior, you're yeah, already th that's, that's just yeah, why I assume I was, that. And I knew I read his sheet in the yeah. playthrough. Uh, okay. So you immediately recognize the family crest of Lord Yvain on the fabric and the sword's pommel. You feel a sudden sting of dread. So his quest ended here. On sacred plains, far from any landmark. What was he doing here? What happened to the rest of his party? There might only be one way to find out, and you wonder whether you have the guts to try. If you're Maggot, and don't have part four of the final lesson status. Final lesson? Uh, fin final lesson, we have none Nothing. of it. Okay. So if you're Maggot, and don't have part four of the final lesson status, go to verse 11. Okay. Uh, I am not. Oh, you're not Maggot. I'm not. You're I'm Maggot. <laughs> So, so we're maybe, skipping that. If yeah. not, choose. Pay your respects and leave. Expiration ends. Or dig out the grave. Only if you have part two of the pillager status. Oh, oh don't have part two. Okay, I was going to say, that doesn't sound familiar. You have pillager from doing dirty stuff before. I know you do. Do I? Yep. Pillager? I only have part one. So you want to become a dirty pillager? Oh, I do. Okay, then you're going to dig out the grave. I only, I can only imagine how bad it is for if you get pillager five, like how bad it gets for you. Well, it only go. oh, it does go up to five, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then you just need to remember to come back and do whatever the good stuff is with Megan. <laughs> Yes. Because I'm probably going to get us in trouble here. Yeah, which I'll, I'll pass by on my way and I could do that. Uh, Sorry, what verse are we going to? Unless it's going to give you something right now that stops me from going No. Here. Like, it, it could. It, it does before that, though. Yeah, but it could. It was, um, so you went to six. Yeah. Uh, so it could give you part five of the console status. It could give you fate, fate of the expedition no no i think we should be okay i think we're okay because everything was like two things all right so you're digging out the grave i am 
So we're going to go to the Book of Secrets. It doesn't, it doesn't give you the Pillager status yet. Not yet. I'm sure it will, though. <laughs> Two. Okay. Six. Four. 264, Book of Secrets. Here we go. What are you going to find in his grave? I don't know, hopefully some Some wealth. demon. Some wealth. <laughs> some evil demon is going to pull you some down food. and suffocate you oh, and kill you. Oh, man. So 264, I said? Yep. Yep. The grim work is finally done. The mortal remains of Lord Yvain lie before you, caked in mud and reeking of blood. Just one glance is enough to know a human didn't slay the Lord of Kunat. His armor is so dented, it proves impossible to remove it from his body. His left arm is gone as if ripped away by a terrible force. His massive great helm is caved in. You shudder to think about what's under it. <laughs> Only after a moment, you notice a strange, shining talisman clutched in Yvain's hand and decide to keep it for closer investigation. Each party member, who has at least one empathy, gains a terror. Okay, that's me. See, you do bad things. You, yep. You, each character, each character, not party member. Yeah, that was separate. Gains two experience. Oh, super. One, so I'm two. at five. Sweet. I am as well. Nice. So we're getting close to buying some skills or getting, yep. a, getting a more bigger red cube on on a, on a attribute pair. Gain part six of the fate of the expedition status. That's six, not five. Fate of the expedition. Okay. Part two of the pillager status. Part two of the pillager status. And we get another secret card. Yeah. Card, secret card. Uh, where was it? Uh oh, oh, at the top. Uh, secret card twenty-two, the shining talisman. Okay. Which is. Shiny Talisman, 22. Whenever you lose a terror, lose one more point. So it helps you get out of terror more. Now. After I just complain about how I'm low on terror and I get lots of terror and nightmares all over the place, that seems like a good thing for, I can, for Maggot. But we're not together right now, so either way you take oh, okay. it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, well, so I already have a relic flipped up for the day, so I have to flip this down to start. No, you, every time you take something new of that type, you can choose. Oh, okay, so then I'll choose to flip this down, because it's not, I haven't been using it. That would be cool, though, with the whole yeah. using tear, and then that the next day to lose yeah. tear, and then lose one more. Yeah. Good, little, good little combo. Or if you do a battle where you gain some. Yeah. If okay. you have at least one point of caution. I do. Go to verse 301 in the Book of Secrets, otherwise oh, wow. expiration ends. Ooh, okay, more, more now fun. we're going to 301. 301. Next page. 301. You carefully inspect the remains and conclude that Yvain died no longer than a week ago. Under his feet, you discover some small trinkets that look like burial, burial parting gifts. A set of glass prayer beads, a bracelet made of boar fangs, and one razor-sharp steel dagger. It seems at least three members of the expedition outlived Yvain and buried him. You might still be able to catch up with them. Each party member gains one experience. Okay. If your caution is at least two, oh, it's one. And practicality is at least one. Go to verse one seventy one in the Book of Secrets. So my practical, so we can't. Nope. Until we have two caution. Yeah. So like oh, we'll, we'll never get this again in a future playthrough, maybe probably. Uh, okay. Otherwise, expiration ends. Well, that was fun. Yeah, that was cool. No, you gotta do. You have to do that. But there was there another option that I could do that wasn't you. I'm so sorry. Well, you would go. There was another option at the beginning. Yeah. Of what are we at? Because I just ha I have some more. One eighteen. Yeah, I'm just curious. Sorry. Yeah, there were two options at the beginning. That Can't I even remember what I chose at I this know. point now. I don't. One sec. Uh, it was approach the refugees or search the plane. You and said I, I don't want to approach. You want yeah, to search. I search. Okay, I, I'm gonna use one because I have some yeah, energy. Okay. So I'll um, I will now approach. Approach the refugees. Go to verse four. The travelers are frightened and tired of running. Children cry, huddled together on top of overloaded carts. Women and men are solemn, expressionless. You recognize tartans and signs of several western farmholds. Land's End, Sparrow Point, Dungale. Places now fallen into oblivion. If you don't have part two of the strange encounter status. Um, we do not. Go to verse five, otherwise expiration ends. All right, five. A woman approaches you with two little girls clinging to her dress. Prithee, tell us, is there any safe place? Where should we go? <laughs> oh, go ahead. Sorry. 
Pick it up. It's fine. <laughs> just <laughs> makes just a lot of noise. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Right. I was trying to. Uh, other cards stop and everyone's eyes suddenly fix on you. You must think before you answer. Uh -oh. So here's your options. Tell them to head for Camelot. The round table has always protected its people. Go to verse one. Okay. Tell them to head for Kunat. Its men here should still offer them some protection. Tell them to head for Farshire. After all, it has survived the edge of weirdness for many centuries. Tell them to head for Timberwall. Its high walls should protect them. Tell them nowhere is safe. Requires any part of the War of Avalon status, which we know we don't have. Go to verse 10. Or do not answer. Ignore the pleas and walk on. Each party member gains one terror. Exploration ends. No, I'll choose one. Um, tell them to go Can to... I recommend? Yeah, of course. Camelot, bad news. Yeah. Kunat. Good news. The men here is burnt out for sure. It's not lit. Don't lie to them. Oh, okay. This is just me guessing. Uh, tell them head for Farshire. Farshire. Well, Farshire is right here. And there is a men here. Nope. No, isn't it right oh, here? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Oh, okay. It's here. It's close. Yeah. And, it's and, it, and we know it's the most protected place because of the stone thing, right? Yeah, okay. And the mother thing and whatever. Yeah. Timberwall. Uh, I don't know. There, that's that's going to burn out soon. That's far away. I think yeah. it's far too far for them to go. Yeah. And Or tell them nowhere safe. You're not allowed. Okay, I'll say Farshire. I think Farshire is the best of all those based on what we know. Yeah, and Farshire was good. Story-wise, yeah. so far. But we don't know enough about the Timberwall. We didn't really... I feel like we didn't stop there too much. No. If at They're all. all unfriendly settlements except for Quinault. That's a thing. Well, I'm going to choose Farshire. Farshire. After all, it survived the edge of the weirdness for many centuries. Seems safe. Go to verse 7. Okay. You guide them and they nod, desperate for any advice. Soon they head in your chosen direction. Other groups fall behind. You feel your throat clenching. Did you make the right call? If you have any part of the War for Avalon status, we do not. each party member gains two terror. Game part two of the strange encounter status expiration ends. Oh, so you can't do that again? <laughs> I guess not. That's one strange okay, encounter. That was. Okay. Hmm. Still have one more. Which I don't think, even on that path you just did. No, I don't think. Other than sending them in a different way. Uh, but I don't think you can go there. It, exploration would end because oh, now you yeah, have yeah, part yeah. two, right? So I can't get that far. Yeah. So the only thing is you could search the plane again, but like you already found what's there. Yeah. No. Nope. I think you're good. Yep. You could just, just spend an energy to pay a food and gain a rep. <laughs> mm. You could do two energy to get a food out of the deal. But then it's mm. less energy for tomorrow. No, I'll just stop there, I think. It's fine. Yep, I'll stop there. The other thing I noticed I didn't do, it didn't affect... Oh, I forgot to remove yeah. that off my Time piglet. token off the piggy. Yep, forgot. It didn't affect anything because we didn't. Okay. But. Okay. All in my day. All right. Ending the day. Mm -hmm. Eating food. Uh, healing, terror, good. I go to full energy. Dream time. We're both yes. having some sort of dreams. Uh, so I'll do mine first, Quinault. I uh, get the dream, it's a grail. Which was just like a tip. I don't know if I get anything good from it, but I remember it being like a clue we need to worry about. Uh, dream. No, it's just the, in your restless dream, a pale lady rises from the water, her eyes milky and her skin spoiled with rot. She whispers something into your ear. Her breath smells of sea salt, kelp, and rotten fish. You barely remember the words. There is something about three enigmas, one hidden under the Isle of the Dead, one clutched to the grasp of burned hands and arms, and one buried in the midst of, uh, buried in a mist-covered mound. Hmm. Four dweller mounds, mist covered. I remember that one with the face. I think this is just ways we were trying to find the men here right at the beginning. Because it was telling you like, go here, rest in the first day. And then I remember the burned hands was where I think we went with Maggot. And he was, um, he got that, uh, the men here rights card right here. I think so. Yeah, that's why I have it still. Hint, the dream refers to three out of eight locations surrounding Kunat. Is possible some of them are yet, not yet revealed. Uh, okay. Okay. And then Stampede. 118. Dream. A dream of flying, made even more astonishing by the sea of white signs stretching on the plains below you. Now that you see them all at the same time, something hatches in your mind. You see it now. The truth. The truth! In all caps. Uh, each character who has this dream gains an energy. Oh, so this is where I can go my bonus? I guess so. I mean, I did it. I don't know. What else is it there for? I don't know. Wow. 
that's good. Seven. Get some extra energy. Yeah. Hope you run. Okay. Okay. Uh, next start of day, I will. Hmm, I think I'll gain an energy. So I lose a terror. I already lost. Okay, we're good. All right, done. Okay. So that's my true grail. Uh, let's reduce these dials. So I'm just. So this one's going down to five. Out. This one's going down to one. Great. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. I wish we could have explored that four dweller mounds. Well, we can. It would be awesome. Maybe there's something there, like find more out about this jerk. But he's there. Like I'm not going. Nobody's there. gonna move right now. I know. So we light this. You do your maggot no, thing. No, uh, maybe not now. Like we might have to go back that way anyway. But it's just like I wish we did that at the beginning of the game if we didn't. Yeah. Because maybe there's something you go there later, and maybe we find something Wait, else about this guy. Because now we know what a four dweller is. But I think at that time we had no idea. Obviously. Right. Or maybe on another playthrough in the future, I may play this solo at some point in the future. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Because I want to try different options. I want to go different ways and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so reveal the next event card. Be good weather. Yes. Good weather. Yay. Travel costs one less. All right. So let's do... Uh, move the Guardians. Move the Guardian. This guy. He's going this way. This one, Guardian here will roll a die. And Boom. He's gone. he's gone. Put him in the bottom of his deck. See you, bro. He's out. Nice. One less that we have to worry about. Perfect. Yes. I, I was assuming he would chase me and hit me and all that, but we don't have to deal with that. Okay. Start of the day. You want to come to me and light the Well, I'm here? using free good weather. Travel costs less, and then I'll spend that nice bonus one I have to come to you. Let's light that man here. Okay. Unless I want to. I think we light the men here first. Yeah, let's just light the men here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, before bad things could yeah. happen and take away my stuff. All right, so two energy. Uh, one, two. One, two, yeah. Two food. Okay. Oh, can you pay some food for me? Yeah, sure. Only one. Come, do you a pay three? Loader. I'm just joking. You've given me food before. Uh, one wealth. Uh, yeah, I got to spend that for you too. Yeah. Holy you already Christ. knew about that. What is happening here? <laughs> and I'll pay the magic that I have that I owe. Yeah, it's nice of you. All right. <laughs> you want me to pay one of your energy? No, we're fine. We're Are good. you sure? Yeah. Well. Okay, and then set the dial to five. Um, so we'll obviously take oh, it. five for one to two players. You don't mind it. Oh, okay. On that one. So we'll take this one away if you yep. want to grab those locations for me. I sure do. Me. And I'll set it up on five. For five, there's a five. Do you do smallest to largest ever? I just throw them on oh, the top. Oh, okay. I don't figure it care. out later. Yeah, because we pulled back ones in random order. Okay. I mean, don't care. I tried to sort them one day, but whatever. It's like okay. We just just get messed up. Okay. Now, do you want to do that maggot search? Oh, uh, we're revealing. Oh, we're revealing. Yes. So, uh, let's do some shifting. Aren't keeping straight. Uh, okay, so these ones. Okay. Okay. And let's see the so, weirdness. Uh, okay, so we'll do one forty-one. We're gonna do one twenty. Mm -hmm. So I'll grab them both here. Have we had one twenty? I don't think so. I don't think we went. I feel like we were yeah, on like I feel this like side it, of the map. I feel like map. this is as far as we saw before. Yeah. Uh, what is it? 120, 120 to 141. Yeah. 120. Oh, and sorry, you would have revealed 108 when you were here. No. Oh, we just no lit that. Here. We just lit that. There sorry. was no Brain many. Fart. Nice try. Oh, my gosh. 141. Sorry. I'll show you guys these. Oh, look at this. So let's look at Weird Edge first. Uh, you can Ooh. put them in here. Here And look at it. Surrounded in the fog. It's like a little place, a little island. Uh, solitary structure meticulously resists the weirdness pushing at it from all sides. So we got to talk to our buddy here who's obviously keeping that at bay for some reason uh -oh. or some, some method. You can buy healing potions, spend two energy, pay two wealth or magic to gain three health. Why would you be down three health unless we're going to have some fighting fight happening here? Well, it's a way to run away from... We have this guy chasing us. Yeah. So we could have been fighting him and getting hurt by him too. Or, yeah. or guardians True. or... 
encounters. I like how far away he is from us. Yes, that feels good. Uh, all right. And then we have Horns of the South. That looks interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, for two energy, you can help the keepers gain a food once per day. Mm. Pay two energy, gain a food. Mm. I already have to do that. Uh, a beacon for ancient mariners heading towards the island. So there's like a little lighthouse there, basically. Mm. That's cool. neat. It's a dream location. I'm in here only. All right. I want to go to that grave thing to check it, but I, I'm worried I get blocked out by something you got already. No. If we do, I'm rolling back. Sure, uh, okay. but I don't think you do. All right, so spend one energy. Yeah. Uh, and it was Explore the Plains, right? Yeah. 2018. 2018, yeah. Okay. Search the Plains, verse 6. If you have part 4 and don't have part 5 of the Constable status, we don't. Yeah. Otherwise, read on. Uh, we wander. Oh, yeah. The new task. Follow the tracks to find out what happened to the rest of the group. Do we have that? Yeah, it's that place. There, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Each party with two or less magic gains magic. Yeah. I'm kind of skipping over some of the text here, guys. I just read it recently. So, um, If you have part one. If you have part one of the Fate of the Expedition status or part one of the Dreams of Prophecy status or you're playing as Bior, go to verse eight. So I go to verse eight, right? Yep, yep. I'm going to stop me there. And then I recognize this Lord Yvain stuff. If you're Maggot and don't have part four of the final lesson status. Nope. Okay. You know what I also noticed? I got part one. So now I, if you, because if you didn't have Maggot in your party. Oh, that makes so sense. So that would make it be like. If you're Maggot and don't have part four of uh, the status, go to verse 11. Okay. Lord Yvain is dead. You used to hate him as much as he loathed you and your surprise when, out of all people in Kunat, he decided to ask you for help. And now you discovered he was willing to pay the ultimate price to save his people. If such a man could step up to great deeds, surely you, so can you. Um, Maggot gains, whoa, Maggot gains one spirituality or one courage. Like for free? Yes. Uh, or sorry, no, 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 sorry. Empathy, empathy, which I was saving up for. Look at this. I'm not joking. Maggie gains one empathy or courage. Then you gain part four of the final lesson. Says. Oh, so you can't do it again. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be broken. <laughs> I would just sit here doing this over and over again until I was loaded. Part four. So what do I want? Courage or empathy? Well, what's more expensive? Take whatever's more expensive. They're both the same cost. Oh, that's too bad. I'll just take the empathy. I don't have it. Yeah, because it might. But a courage could help in combat. Do you have any double courages in your deck? Yeah, that's a good question. Because if you don't, then... But you might even, like connecting on your cards, that's the thing. Uh, yeah, one. Oh, Maggot's overhead smash. <laughs> Two, on Maggot's blood magic. Yeah, it's a Maggot it's thing. It's a Maggot thing. Uh, hold on. I have one. It's just those two. On Ignore Pain. It's just those two. Yeah. So it's up to you. I should that would that smooth it out. That would make two cards really more connectable, I think. So on the Courage Connection, I have one, two, three. It allows you but to then... But two of them are on the same card, so hold on. Those don't count. So one, two, three, three. No, but they might count, though, because you might not have the aggression to, to connect. Uh, I'm just mathing out how many oh. bonus keys could connect to those Courages. I see, I see. So I have, like, five total Courage bonus keys. Uh, bonus, like, the mm -hmm. Lightning Bolt card symbol, whatever. Five of them on Courage. And two are double that could block those, block four out of the five, technically. Each one could block. Or just empathy, which helps on on the diplomacy. Also, though, the courage lets you get a, a card eventually. True. If you're, if you're but I'm really eyeballing but, caution, actually. I, oh, for I see. story yeah. stuff, it seems like we could go further sometimes and cut out some of the damage we take. Yeah. Uh, but I, have, I mean more caution, by having more caution in mm -hmm. the story. So I think I'm going to go caution on that end, but I'll do an empathy. Okay. Wow, for free. That's amazing. And if I'm getting that terror reduction thing that you got there, then that makes it even better because, yeah, for story purposes. Yeah. Yeah, you can have that. That's fine. Uh, all right. Wow. That's cool. Uh, gain part four of the final lesson status and go back to verse eight uh, so I can pay my respects and leave or dig out the grave. If I don't have part two of the pillager status, which we do. So pay my respects and leave. See you, bro. Yep. 
See, buddy, it was nice. Wow. Hmm. That was definitely worth it. Still tough, though. I'm debating on that courage, man. Because there's story stuff that courage has come up, too. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like not being empathetic. So when, like, we do dirty things, I don't I don't <laughs> get terror. I'm like, yeah, I, I don't mind burying the body, cutting it up and putting it in garbage bags. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, I'll just stick with the empathy. Seems good. I would go for whichever one costs more, but they cost yeah, the same right now. Yeah, that's too bad. But now I'm thinking about now it just made the cost of these key this skills higher. Yeah. But only what eight? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have five. Let me peek at the courage skills actually, because uh, that could be a thing too. Courage. So some of the courage options. Fear to fuel. Ignore the negative effects of nightmares. If you have a nightmare game magic. Oh, that's not. That seems that's cool. That's good for you. But this is like, if I take courage and then I still have to save up to eight. So I'm only three away. Survival diet. For one energy, gain a terror to gain a food once per day. No, I already have something to deal with that. So I think that's okay. Uh, Devil's deal. When exploring, after you roll a die, you may toss a dial. On a grail, you get plus two to the result. On a skull, minus two. Minimum one. Minimum one. Oh, it takes it down to a value of one. So there's a chance you could, on those times we roll dies, to keep going. Yeah. It helps us get through those easier. When exploring, you may add plus one to the result of a die roll once per roll. That I'd probably do because it's a safer option. But you're right. See, it's all story stuff because it knows. That's good. That you're going to be rolling die. Well, this is courage. Yeah. Uh, do or die. If you're exhausted, you may spend a health instead of energy. If you're exhausted, you may spend... Oh, I see. If I'm down here in one or zero mm -hmm. and I need to do energy to move or do something, I can spend health to do it? Wow. That is cool. That is cool. Inspiration. The cost of your character action is decreased by one energy, but not lower than one. So I can get magic for one energy... Oh, man. That's huge. Forge ahead. At the start of each encounter, draw an extra card and then discard a card. Wow, I get to choose. That's amazing, too. Yeah. Always forward. In combat, gain one red for each card you discard during the end of turn phase. So that would be good for you if you drew lots of cards and you're just tossing them away. Mm -hmm. Just gaining some extra red cubes. Yep. Inspiring leader. Your companions do not require any payment. Does your pig require payment? No. No? Okay. So I guess there are some companions in the game that require payment. Bodyguard. In combat, when another party member receives damage, you may decide to receive this damage instead. It becomes unavoidable. Nah. Yeah. Not worth it. Tireless. You only become exhausted when your energy reaches zero. So it turns this red into a brown. That's pretty good. So I can still shoot up. Yes, that's very good. And the last one, exhaustible stamina. If you're not exhausted at the end of the day, after restoring your energy, gain one additional point of energy. Wow. Hmm. Those are pretty good. Yeah, there's some good ones in here. But there also could be good ones. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Courage. Screw it. You've been... I know I'm going to stay fun and, and be <laughs> less empathetic and just be a jerk and do dirty things and not be scared of them. You've been swayed by the cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i gotta I got to have the knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. Uh. So... If you're exhausted. So inspiration. I think I would look at or the tireless making less exhausted there. Yeah, that's a good card. But I feel like decreasing my action to gain magic seems really good. It's helpful in a bind for sure. Well, and just before battles and stuff, like mm -hmm. I might just do it once always just to generate an extra magic. Yeah. Just so I always have one. Or in situations like I was in where you just sat there with one energy left. Yep. I'm going to just turn that purple into five. Okay. That's cool. All right. So I'm double courage. All right. Um, I will use my beautiful weather movement to go to Weird Edge. Do some exploring there unless you want to come. Uh, I probably should go with you. Okay. Well, I can move for free and then you have to pay an energy to move. Oh, you already used your... but I can't explore once I'm there unless I go down one more. All right, I'll pay, I'll pay your energy to 
to move. Well, either way. Because I'm free, and then I'll pay your energy oh, okay, to sure. move. So then you still have an energy. Move as a party. Yeah. And then we'll explore as a party. Uh, first, let's check the men here. Oh, yeah, cost. yeah. Good call. Good call. It's weird that there's a men here right next to a men here, though. Well, we had that when it was the pull and push one. This yeah. is probably going to be super expensive. Uh, requires all characters in the men here right secret card. Yeah. Pay one energy, two wealth, and one magic per player. One energy, sorry. One energy. Yeah. Two wealth and one magic per player. One magic. We do not have the wealth. No, but right above it. Does that go up? Sorry. No. No. Ooh. Do I run to get some of that? But you need two energy up there, lose two health, gain three wealth. That, that might be something we do, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's still not enough. Yeah, because we need four. But, I mean, we both would have to, probably. Yeah, well. Damn. That's okay. Well, we don't we have to light here. that right now. I know, I know. And, and the funny part is, why would we? It doesn't lead to anywhere right now. I, I feel like it's pointless to do it right now because we still... Oh, yeah. Like, we can't even get down here. There's nothing down here yeah, right now. Yeah, it doesn't now. do anything for There's us. There's nothing here. It doesn't go up that way. I guess way. if you didn't have the resources for this one, you could choose that one instead. It's an option. But... But we couldn't get here without this one. At least the way we're going right now. I don't yeah, know. This is very weird. Know. But if one's going to go dark, maybe. And then again, this could disappear and become a new location where it like then connects to other stuff. Who knows? True. So we're going to spend an energy to yep. explore? Yeah, let's explore together, together as a party. All right, we're together. And this is 141. Yep. Weird Edge. This is where we need to go. This is our quest. Let's find Orin. I hope we can find him quickly before Buddy comes hunting. All right. Not long ago, this old Cronog sat atop a Miri Lake. Now the weirdness coils above and below the wooden structure and its bridge has become the last strand of reality, anchoring it to the human world. You know of only one person who could have carved out a living in pure weirdness, Orin, the last sorcerer of the island, and the heir to Merlin's knowledge. If you have the Winds of Weirdness status go to verse 3, which we don't yet. No. At one point we'll get that. I know we will. Uh, otherwise, choose one. Traverse the long bridge leading to the Cronog, go to verse 4, or leave, exploration ends. Well, we're going to traverse Let's the bridge, Let's do the bridge. Right? Which is verse what? Verse 4. Okay. The bridge is thin, and the weirdness presses at it from all sides. The walk won't be easy. One mistake, and you are lost. Oh, no. Roll a die and add one point for each of your caution and practicality. See, this is a story crap. I was just talking about walking across bridges and stuff. So we got a 5. I add three, so, so eight. No, no, no. We use the, oh, the highest, highest of our party. Okay, so two. Two. Uh, so And one for... One point for each. So you're adding three to it total. Okay. Plus so five is eight. eight. So on a one to five, you'd slip and sink. Sweet. Blah, blah, blah. It grabs and pulls. Go to verse seven. Or six plus. You cross the unstable bridge and knock on the door of the Krenog. Go to verse one. Nice job. If you have... Part two of the Allies of Avalon status, go to verse two. Uh, we do not. Otherwise, read on. The door creaks open, and a small wrinkled face appears on the other side. Keen eyes study you. Then an old man steps out of the house and stands before you. You didn't expect him to be so small. In stories, Orin was a great mage who could have tame, who could tame weirdness, who wandered into Tuathane and came out alive. His appearance is disappointing. More adventures? Gods? Will it ever end? Orin greets you in a dry voice. I don't like visitors. Alas, I am going to give you one chance to change my mind. Then, out into the weirdness you go. So, who are you? What is your quest? And what do you want from me? Every answer you give Orin has an assigned number. Place three dials in the following slots so they show the numbers of your chosen answers. Okay, so hold on. In like this? In these? Yeah. Okay, so pass me three. Uh, yep. Yeah. And three times, uh, three of the gold. So you're pointing them down, whatever number is there, like, so you can read the number. Oh, okay, okay. So the first slot is a who are you question. Okay. Tell him your heroes of Avalon, which is two, or tell him your small folk from Kunat. We're small folk from Kunat. So what are we putting it to? Four. Four. I would say. Okay. You can totally fight me on this, but that's what I would say. Well, doesn't he want heroes, do you think? I don't know. Okay, okay. We're not the I'm heroes, going with though. you. You're right. The heroes died. We're just small folk. Let's 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 not seem I yeah, don't know. Let's not be too big for our bridges here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All okay. right, second dial slot. Okay. What is your quest? First option. You're trying to help the people of your town or you're going to save Avalon? What does that say exactly? 
that our quest is? Ask Orin to guide you into Tuathane. He can be found in Weird Edge, okay. to the west of the Stampede. So I think we want to save the town, right? The first one? Yeah. Which is... Well, that's what we left to do is help our town. I don't think we're ready to save Avalon. No. I mean, we're probably trying, but... No. So what? Three. Three. Okay, so four, three... Uh, let's see. Third dial slot. What do you want? You require access to Tuathane or you need wise advice. We are trying to get access to Tuathane. Yeah, I would say that. Three. Three. So four, three, three. Now go to the appropriate verse in the Book of Secrets. <laughs> for example, if you've chosen the first answers for all questions, go to verse two, three, three in the Book of Secrets. All right, where are we going? Four, three, three. Four, three, three, though. Did we do it? Did we? I what hope did, so. I'm curious. Like, all this the different... Is cool. That could have been... Like nine different things, I think. Three times three. Yeah. Or no, two times three. Six different common. I don't know. I can't math. But anyways. Uh, sorry, four, three, three. Mm -hmm. Four, three, three. Possible odds. Someone will let me know in the comments below how many possible combinations could be there. I think six, though. Uh, four, three, three. Uh, yeah. Oh, there it is, the bottom. <laughs> I'm like, I don't see it. I'm looking up and down. Okay, 433. Three, three. You're not as perfect as you think you are, but maybe you are good enough. If you have at least five rep, I yes. think it's just one of us, but we're both Okay, good. we're both over that. Go to verse three, 436 in the Book of Secrets. If not, Oren tells you to think about yourself and bids you farewell. See? <laughs> I was saying we need rep. It's teasing us with rep everywhere. I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it. I just picture these guys designing this game, sitting on computers, like, hey, hey we'll, we'll, they need the rep. They can pass the rep. We'll have a we'll have a big forearm Goro chasing them past the rep. Will they stop for the rep? <laughs> well, luckily we got rep earlier. Anyways, yeah. Is there rep nearby? Oh yeah, you can go here and do food for rep. But then where are you getting food from? You have to go up here, or here. So yeah, they give you the food and rep combo right here. But you're going to do that while this guy's coming? No. What if he was right here it. with us? I wow. It's right. blowing my mind. Where are we going? 436. 436. I think. I think I can trust you. In contrast to the bumbling fools who visited me in the past, you seem to be aware you're not great heroes. Good. You are also kind of wise. You can come in. Orn invites you into his cramped Kurnog. Each party member gains two experience. Yes, we love experience. I need to switch to a purple in a second. Yeah, I'm going to throw away this five. Oh, are we here. doing it right now? Okay. Yep. It takes two seconds. One, two. Okay, I have seven. Nice. Three. Uh, where was I? 436. Five. Game part two of the Allies of Avalon status. Oh, finally. There we go. We got something going. Okay. Uh, then return to verse 2 in the Exploration Journal of Weird Edge. 141, verse 2. Verse 2. Okay, because now we have that, maybe? The Kronog consists of one large room with an open fireplace. Only now you notice it was built around a menhir, its upper half sticking above the floor. Everything is well organized and perfectly clean. Glass bottles sit in a row on a shelf above a simple hammock. A variety of herbs hang in elegant bunches near the window, through which you can see unwinding weirdness. Rows of books, some with distinct buildings and ornaments dating back to the homelands, Sit on the shelves. Orin takes the only seat in this place. A lot of options here. Ask him about Tuathane. Only if you're playing Chapter 6. Oh, convenience. Okay, well, let's keep reading, though. Maybe there's some other stuff here. Here, the story of Orin's journey into Tuathane requires Chapter 7 and at least one of the following. We're not reading the rest of that. Uh, I don't think. And at least one of the following. Crest of the Order secret card, Hand of the People secret card, or Part 9 of the Fate of the Expedition card. Go to verse yeah. 10. Ask about the first expedition. We had a quest before that was about finding about the first expedition. Yeah, but I think that's relevant now. I think, yeah, I think if we came here earlier, it would have mattered. Ask about Arthur's fleet requires part eight of the Pathfinder status. Do we have that? I don't think so. Uh, no. See if he has anything to sell. Orn accepts only magical trinkets as payment. Draw the top two cards from the item deck. You can buy any number of them for two magic each. Mm. No, I don't want to waste my magic. If you don't, shuffle them back into the deck. The next version ends. No, let's ask him about two a thing. How do we get back here again? Two. So we come into verse four. Mm. This would make exploration end. No, if we ask him. No, but I'm thinking of. Oh, I'm thinking you... of doing the two magic selling thing. Oh. Because man, some of, like look at how some of these items doing many here's for less cost. 
shields, That's swords, popular. helmets, like, or weapons, sorry, not swords, weapons. Yeah, you have a sword. Mm -hmm. Poison daggers. Mm -hmm. Piggies. Yeah, the pig is the best. Armor. <laughs> yeah, like, I want yeah, a I want cannon. A, yeah. But that's too magic for that. Yeah. I don't want to do it because my magic is priceless. <sighs> it's yeah, hard to I get know. It. But we're together, so if we see two amaze balls items, yeah. that is worth it, I think. Maybe. Yeah. But then exploration ends. Then we would have to come back again. But now we have one of those statuses. But we'd have to travel the bridge. Yeah. Uh, which is verse four again? Yeah, but it says if you have a status. No, it doesn't. Oh. You try to roll for a point again and do the thing again. Oh, then we have to go back. To and that. we would both have to spend energy to do this again. You would probably have to go alone. No, let's just let's just talk to him. All right, maybe we do this. Talk to him. Maybe we can get back in and do the whole buying the magic thing. Yeah. But man, draw the top two cards of the item deck. <laughs> <laughs> I like those items. They seem rare. They're great. Some are not the greatest, but... No, some are not the greatest at all, but... Man, we know we've thrown away, like, that, that chalk that let us do... Oh, the chalk was good. But that's, like, bottom of the deck right now. We need to... Uh... But we need to shuffle it. Because yeah, they shuffle that... them in if you don't buy them. That's a way to, like, cycle it up again. I want to. Okay, anyways, let's ask about to Athane. Yes. Only if you're playing Chapter 6, go to verse 6. No fun. All right. Uh, to Athane... Don't tell me you're yet another fool who wants to go there. All the so-called expeditions only bring harm. I saw so many people go there never to return. No more. If you want to die, do it on your own. <laughs> Oren's face is red, his, blood, his body trembling, but you also see a deep sadness in his eyes. He looks at you again and speaks in a calmer tone. Look, if I'm to tell you anything, I must know you can hold your own there without making things worse for everyone in Avalon. Prove yourself. Then I might share my knowledge with you. Congratulations! You've completed your current chapter. Discard all event cards, including active quests, then either save your game or draw chapter 7 setup card and follow its instructions to begin the next chapter. Okay. All right. We'll continue reading this section in the next episode. But that is going to be it Woo. for today's episode. That was a good one. That was cool. I felt like we got lots done now. Yes. Men here's lit every two movements. It was just like... <laughs> You get a men here. You get a men here. Men here's everywhere. It's like the game's like rewarding us. Like they make you feel like men here lighting is like such a rarity at the beginning. It's so hard to do. And then they give you a bunch of cheap men here's that like, well, I guess we had that discount thing on a couple before. But, yeah, but not today. The one we didn't even use it on. People left comments like, you didn't even use it to reduce? Yeah, but I, I but figured it was I could yeah, choose, right? And then you flip a coin and you might lose it, right? So it's like, uh, do you want to use it? It's like, you got to use it when you need it. Yeah, I didn't Not want... when you're just like, let's just use it for fun. Yeah, I didn't want to use it because at that point we had all the... Survival the horror, guys. It's like a survival horror game. You got to yeah. use it when it's like dire straits. Yeah. Hold on to stuff till it's like life or death. That's how I think. Yeah. Uh, but I don't remember to use half my items anyway, so I, I can't talk. But I think we did talk about it later in the video. But what, when I when we did the next men here, I did yeah. say why I didn't. But anyways, anyways, that's it for this playthrough. Thanks to our Patreon backers. Thanks to everyone who donates. If you want to donate to help support the channel, help us grow. The money keeps me doing this on YouTube full time. Also goes back in the channel and it gets me to buy more games, expansions, all that kind of stuff. Lighting, camera equipment, all that kind of stuff uh, to help improve the channel. If you appreciate. The time spent with us here and you'd like to throw a little bit our way any amount helps links are in the description below thank you everyone who's following along with this playthrough you guys are awesome for being patient with us and waiting us for to get these episodes done we're gonna try to get this done we're hoping we can plow through it a little faster because if you guys didn't know today on the day of this recording they announced frost haven the second or sorry the i guess second expansion but it's the big box standalone expansion it's like gloomhaven 2 it is a big ass box same amount of stuff in it as the original gloomhaven box that is coming i am going to back that if i can i'm going to ask the company to see if maybe we can get you know involved in it somehow because we did a playthrough the whole series 40 something episodes we're going to get back to gloomhaven i want to get back to it actually before that Frosthaven even maybe starts on kickstarter i want to get back to playing gloomhaven and get our playthrough this finished so we're going to try to pick up the speed. Hopefully, we get these episodes coming out quicker. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell on YouTube so you don't miss when we post the next one. Follow on the social media links below so you get notified when we post new videos. But we're going to try to post these a little quicker now. I realize we were before we're not going to rush. 
but now I feel like we just need to kind of play it. So we're, this, this seems to work, this weeknights playing in the evenings for a couple hours. And so splitting them. Splitting them, yes. That's what I think the solution is before we were playing slowly because we could only fit it on a weekend when we had like four or five hours to spare. And then I had to edit long ass videos, which I then don't stream because I'm spending all day editing. So if we do it in more bite-sized chunks, we'll just play for two, three hours and cut it where it is, which means some episodes might be us playing just short episodes to the end of a chapter, maybe right through the end of a chapter and we start the next one. So we'll do two to three hour episodes, hopefully, see if we can get that working. Except for if we do on the weekends, we might still do longer episodes, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Let us know how it's going in your playthroughs. I love reading that. Guys coming back at are like, I'm playing this, I finally got to this chapter, I come back to watch your video. Oh my god, you guys did it completely different, this is crazy, <laughs> I love this game. So yes, I'm excited to revisit this in the future as a, like a, a different playthrough, whether it's with Mel again or whether it's me on my own. I definitely want to play through this again. And since I'm doing the YouTube stuff, stuff full time, thanks to guys supporting on Patreon and donations and everything keeps me doing this longer, uh, I will eventually try to get this done in the day where I can play longer streaming it or something and I can do maybe a playthrough and try at least try to see how far I can survive. But I'll take different options and paths from the start and see how that goes. Take some different things, take the Tainted Grail, to the Lady of the Lake versus where we more gain or mm -hmm. whatever. Stuff like those decisions or trying to switch allegiances or some of these other quests. Find a way into a thing on your own. Uh, whoops, you guys can't see that. But that's backwards. How are you even <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so I love this game. Excited to experience it. Um, so we're going to try the bite-sized chunk. Seems to work better. Let us know. I'm assuming shorter episodes are better for you guys. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Yeah.